The following podcast has been rated listener MA. It contains strong language, violence, adult situations, nudity. Listener discretion is advised. Uh, would you rather give up cheese or blowjobs for the rest of your life? <laughs> blowjobs all day. I, I'm the same I'm, fucking Yeah, way. they hurt my jaw. Blank. Rejected name for condoms. Gosh, I don't know. Cock koozies, jizz mittens, ham holsters, kidnappers. Yeah, try it now! <laughs> <laughs> try it, try it now! What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. I am your host. My name is Scotty German, a.k.a. the podcast prodigy. God, we're back to that. We are. <laughs> oh, good. Yeah, we're, we're back was, to that. I was hoping. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> and alongside me, I have two excellent stand-up comedians. First, he is the most uh, unflamboyant homosexual we all know and love because he's really, really funny, Mr. JP. God, I love you. I love you back. And, man, it's been a long time, but ladies and gentlemen, please welcome back the 1984 Kingman County T-Ball Defensive Player of the Year Award winner, Mr. Jeremy Joseph. Welcome Jeremy, back. Jeremy, Jeremy, Jeremy. Shut up. Okay. Um, <laughs> now, I, I heard my name. I heard the round of applause that I justly deserve, uh, but I cannot see anything because, as I point out every time, uh, this is a great time of year at 6 p.m. to be driving west. <laughs> I can't see a I goddamn see thing. <laughs> my eyes are burned shut. <laughs> Oh, uh, shit. Well, love, to, uh, love that you're back, Jeremy, for this episode. I, I'm back for this episode. Yes, thank you. Uh, maybe maybe, a <laughs> maybe couple, another I, one. I hate to get locked into another four-year deal. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. It'll be fun. Uh, uh, yes. It paid so handsomely, though. <laughs> it sure did. It sure did. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but anyways, uh, welcome into another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. If this is the very first time you've listened to one of these shows, this is a comedy podcast where we like to make very inappropriate jokes about the current events that are going on in sports and inappropriate jokes that have nothing to do with sports whatsoever. In fact, a lot of them are targeted towards me and sometimes I get pissed off. Uh, but this is also an adult podcast where we like to use foul language and annoy and piss off an, uh, as the biggest groups of people that everybody has, uh, you know. That doesn't like us. So uh, if you have thin skin, you're in the wrong place. Get the fuck out of here. Thanks. Bye. Okay. Uh, yeah, man. We Way gotta, to broaden your audience, guys. Yeah, that's what I do. Way to be all inclusive. I do. And uh, no, I don't, actually. No, I take that back. I don't. I am not all inclusive. You brought in a gay fella. I did. I'm working was, on it. You just did that for the rain. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it was. Yeah. They made him do it. <laughs> it's that so, was, it's so, a bad deal. It's so our podcast can get away with saying the word flag it. <laughs> flag it is a good one. Flag it is a word that you can't use unless you have one on the panel. <laughs> that is and, my favorite yeah. uh, thing. That and you then you got to be saying it directly to him. <laughs> to, yeah. Right. Correct. Uh, but Derek is on vacation. Uh, he He's in Chicago, so we hope he has a good time there. Um, but uh, but yeah, we don't gotta, tell people where he's at. Fuck, he said it last yeah, week. What if somebody tries to stalk <laughs> yeah. him and throw him I off mean, a bridge? <laughs> you locate it down to something as small as Chicago. Chicago. I mean, yeah. Christ, they're going to know exactly where he's at. <laughs> Absolutely, just find a falafel he, truck. He's, he's probably he's there. Falafel. <laughs> he's on the that corner that the big one that's yeah. got a lot of traffic and shit. Yeah, yeah. A lot of standing violence. there at the falafel truck. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Does Derek like falafel? Is that a thing he on the show? Falafel. He loves anything that makes him fatter. That's what it, uh, so that's food. What it is. Yeah, food. Food does that. Yeah. All right. Anyways, uh, but we do have an excellent show. We had a lot of things happen over the weekend. Uh, obviously, some current events we got to get through. Overrated and underrated, as always. Uh, but JP's new favorite segment, and it's not even that new anymore, but uh, that's where no. I draw the line. We're doing it every week now, and God, I love it. It's a good one. It's, it's a, a really good one. good one. I like um, drawing the lines. We also have questions. I like snorting lines, too, I'm sometimes. sure he nice. too, yeah. yeah. It's the only way he can work up the nerve it's to get to here. get here. You know, i got to get high. Yeah, that's fine. Lines of herbal essence. He stared though, right? down the sun no. on his way here. Yeah. Yeah, the sun doesn't fucking bother me. <laughs> Uh, but we also have questions and preguntas, a draft, and a shitty situation, and we might be able to work in some bad advice with Jeremy Joseph, maybe. Oh, that would be awesome. If we can talk him into it. I uh, probably don't have time. Okay, fine. <laughs> <laughs> probably got to get going. In, in yeah. fact, no probably about it. We don't have time. 
<laughs> He's got to start setting up Christmas decorations. That's right. Oh, it has begun. <laughs> okay. sure. It has to have. Otherwise, she'll all, never get done in time. All of the trees are up in the basement. Oh, good. Bad advice. Jeremy may or may not have something to, to do, do with, with that. that. Yeah, yeah. So Okay. Uh, anyways, uh, we are recording this episode on Halloween night. So if my, so if my doorbell goes off, I am going to be fucking furious because my lights are off and I don't give a fuck about your kids. Um, but what yeah. if it's Jehovah's Witness? Can they be on the show? Yeah, absolutely. That would be interesting. JP would make yeah. them very uncomfortable. Have they would take my spot. <laughs> or maybe <laughs> they convert him. I know from experience <laughs> that Jehovah's Witnesses do not like the gays. Yeah, they tried. He tri- they tried. They tried. Yeah, yeah, it didn't and work. They did not like it when I answered the Mm-mm. door naked and yeah. told them I was fucking my boyfriend. <laughs> what did they want? Yeah. They did wrote you ask them to join? Maybe that's what they were pissed off <laughs> about. Come on in. Fine. One, of them, one of them got on his bike and rode away very fast, and the other one was like, couldn't like quite get on his bike and he I'll kept looking up. up at the other one like don't leave me behind oh, it was I, awesome. I thought maybe he was trying to find a reason to stay behind i wish i'm a religious person I'm, but that's hilarious oh, to I, gotta, I gotta oil my chain yeah. you go on ahead, go on ahead. Yeah. i'm gonna hang out and see if this guy's got any wd-40 <laughs> <laughs> he's got lube of some sort yeah <laughs> sure does i buy it in uh yeah. five gallon drums that's right sure you do okay harbor freight getting that bucket <laughs> got a yep. coupon yeah yep Anyways, uh, but before we get on to the other stuff of the show, we always start the show with our week, week recap, which uh, we like to tell you guys what happened to us over the last week, because we know you guys really give a shit. Uh, and as always, we start with the uh, the person who always has the most interesting weeks in the world, Mr. JP. I know you're going to find this hard to believe, but but this week, I smoked pot. <laughs> Yeah. I bowled. Yeah. There's even a picture of me. There is a picture Somebody of me. Somebody snapped a picture of me yeah. bowling. Like, with a ball and uh, everything? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ball and everything. Nice. One, of the, one of the seven balls he has. Yeah. So I think they took the picture. I think it was last night they took the picture. Maybe it wasn't. I don't know. I don't know when the picture. It, it was a green ball, though. I can tell you that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so I, the guy bowled last night. Yeah. Um, started off with a 300. Oh, nice. So that's really hard to beat. A little bit. Uh, Here, that's a good then score. I shot 252, and he only shot 180. Ooh. And then I guess he was pissed off because he shot 180 because he shot fucking 300 again. <laughs> yeah, how do you fall that how far you off the that? cliff? Oh, dude, it was awful. I've, he, <laughs> I don't know, but, you know, I'm super happy that he shot two 300s in one night, but goddamn, that has to suck not to shoot 800 <laughs> when you have 600 in two games. Jesus. But he did two in a row. No, he did. He did one, one, one bad one in the middle, a bad one in the middle, and then a, another one. That's nice recovery. Oh, fuck <laughs> I'll be yeah, honest. It is. No, I would is. be so fucking frustrated. I mean, yeah, right. I would actually still be jerking it to the fact that I just got real lucky twelve times in a in row because I can't consistently <laughs> bowl strikes. Yeah, it was crazy. It was crazy. He's a great dude. Really, uh, coaches youth bowling. Good dude. Oh, cool. Great bowler. So. I just wish you'd have picked on someone else. You know what I mean? Like, why me? Because you're gay. And I feel like Probably. it was a hate crime. If I'm being honest, I feel See? like I should call a cop. Yeah, you should. <laughs> Um, you probably still can. I got my car fixed. Yeah. You know, it's been two years since my heater worked and air conditioner worked on a regular basis. Like, when yeah. you turn the switch, it actually worked. Sometimes it did. Sometimes it didn't. My driver's side window didn't roll down. Yeah. And it's not that I didn't get it fixed because... I didn't want to get it fixed. I'm just fucking lazy and fucking, I never know where to take it or whatever. Yeah. But my good buddy, Squatty, mm-hmm. he uh, got me in, got my car fixed up. Man, the first thing I did was go through the drive through I didn't even fucking want to order anything. <laughs> I wasn't even hungry, but I was like, I'm going through the fucking drive through because I can't, you know. Yeah, whatever. it's it's been it's so long. It's the best, man. Yeah. It's awesome. So it's that was shit. cool. Yeah. That was good. Um, On the heater part, might I suggest carrying some wood and some matches? <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Yeah, I, <laughs> just I don't put know. it right up there you on the just dash. Put it right up there on the oh, dash. Passenger that'll, seat. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. yeah. That'll that'll yeah. fuck up your dash. You put it on the that's dash. That's true. You yes. don't want to fuck up your dash. That's true. Uh, good point. Yeah. Let's see what else. Oh, it's Halloween, so I brought my Halloween costume. What are you? I am I'm a glory hole. <laughs> of course you are. Yeah. There you go. Uh, that's that, that's yeah. very visual. Yeah, it for is. For those who are just listening. For those of you guys who are just listening, this is fucking hilarious, by the way. Yeah, if yeah. you're listening, this is not going to fucking seem funny. <laughs> but it's if also, you're watching, it's hilarious. If you're watching, it's hilarious, and also an offer. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. All right. Anyways, uh, anything else that you did? 
uh, I feel like I did. The, yeah, but, but I'm <laughs> sure I didn't. But, but, yeah. <laughs> it happens. It happens. So yeah, I guess that's it for me. Yeah, I guess I'll go ahead and go. I uh, I had a lot of fun uh, with preparing for this week's episode. And I, I guess it was a kind of a big hit, but I put all of our pictures on the Monday Fun Day picture of all of this. I'm not sure if you were in high school, but very I'm pretty close. Sure, I'm pretty sure I was not in high school yeah, at that point. Yeah. Because I couldn't grow a beard when I was in high school. <laughs> okay. Uh, but uh, I'm but still pretty young and Given cute. your voice, I wouldn't be surprised if you could. <laughs> right, <laughs> right. But I couldn't. Yeah. Uh, weird. But yeah, that was my senior picture in high school. And Jeremy, wasn't that your senior picture? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Nice. So, so pretty damn good stellar. for you guys for having a senior S- picture. Stellar looking dudes. Do you not graduate? Uh, no, nah, GED. Oh, that's okay. I know. It's, have, it's, it's fine. It's fine. It's just like a diploma. But those it are, is, but for tards. Right. Yeah. <laughs> it's fine. Did you go get in the mall? I was. <laughs> yes, he did. Yes, he did. Good did. job. It's a mall diploma. And <laughs> I, you know what? So what? Uh, right by the it. buckle. That's right. Right by the buckle. Yep. Swing uh, by, grab a new pair of jeans and a diploma. But I, I anyways, I good had for you for going to get it. Though. At least you got it. Yeah, you got to give yourself. I had to go to the that. buckle anyway. Yeah, sure. <laughs> it's just right on the way. It's right on the way. Why not test out? Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh, but no, I take some tests anyway. <laughs> yeah, a couple positive, couple uh-huh. negative. Uh-huh. Uh huh. I had a lot of fun messing with it though. Uh, the, uh, the one thing about JP, if you if you look close enough, I had to cut off your arms. Yeah. Because believe it or not, back in this time of your life, <laughs> you were hanging around with a bunch of chicks. Bro. I was- you there's were hug. You were hugging two chicks. Yeah, and then there's the one right after that where I'm in Christy. I'm you're in, you're in somebody's Christ. tits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Christine. So uh, there were three beards in that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah pretty yeah, much. There yeah. were. There were. Uh, but I had a lot of fun. Uh, and, but there was also a lot of comments that made me made me laugh a little bit. Like one of my favorites was from Frankie Garcia. Uh, he wanted to know out of all of the uh, out of that picture what our rejected boy band name would be, especially now. I, I, I did Achy Breaky Shart. That was mine. Achy Breaky Shart. <laughs> Achy Breaky Shart. <laughs> so, what? I didn't know. I thought I was pretty clever. Oh, that's clever as fuck, Scotty. Yeah, I know. I just figured it I mean, you're a clever guy. I am kind of clever. Yeah. Yeah. Cauliflower um, nose. Mm hmm. Uh, Got that wrestling. Yeah. Uh, but I did. I had a lot of fun preparing for this episode, and uh, everybody did a really good job on suggestions. Uh, there was a whole bunch of them that I may not use today, but I saved a whole bunch. So, Oh, nice. Yeah, because there was quite a few good ones. Good deal. Um, but the other thing that was probably the most, like, the funnest thing that happened to me over the weekend was I did not golf one time. Well, yeah, because it was fucking 30 degrees. It was yeah, cold and, and shit. Pouring rain. And, and rainy. And rainy. And windy. And which is my favorite kind of weather. I golf all, no, no. To to stay at home, hunkered down. I have a wood burning fireplace, and I just stayed in the basement mm. and watched football all day long. With do the you fire know how going. much more fun that would have been if you were smoking pot? Uh, you're a hundred percent correct. Oh, I know. Dude, but I didn't that's have what any. I do. I, that's my favorite. This if, I love you, winter. If you didn't get up at that. two o'clock yeah. in the afternoon, I called you over, dog. But you know, I, you know, that's kind of what most people do on Sundays during football season, anyway. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. true. They don't need it to rain like a motherfucker. Yeah, that's true. Uh, but I also uh, the other cool thing that I did, I guess, is I finally won a very big bet on my DraftKings account. Oh yeah, I did a parlay for the Lions game, which I'll get to later. But I, I actually fucking killed it. And How much money are we talking here? About four hundred bucks. Wow. Yeah. Let me hold the hundred. No, I good. wiped my ass with four hundred dollars. <laughs> yeah. You for did. God's sake. You did. You, you almost uh, sold a Ranger oh, for that, didn't you? Man. A little over that, Scotty. Uh, okay. I All wasn't right. gonna fucking take four hundred dollars. <laughs> but he had the cash right there. Three fifty is what he brought with him. Oh. And he fanned it out. It was tempting. He fanned it out. I am gonna like say- one does. Sure. I, when you have when you three hundred and fifty dollars for a truck, when, when you have half of a decent rent, yeah. Yeah. Um, it's fucking great. Yeah. Uh, but uh, there was a whole bunch of other questions about. Uh, they want to know if you've been eating any sweet potatoes or if your wife's been eating any, any sweet potatoes lately. Uh, no, actually, though she did comment the other day that we're getting into sweet potato season. Oh, oh so <laughs> oh, she's fucking it's coming. with me. She it's is coming. fucking with me. Yeah, probably. <laughs> uh, but anyways, yeah, that was pretty much my week. I'll uh, I'll turn it over to the to e- the person everybody actually wants yeah. to hear from. Haven't heard from you in a long time, Jeremy. What's been going on with you, buddy? Nothing. I uh, know. That's it. He bowled, That's it. he smoked pot, uh, yeah. he bowled. played some golf. I, I watched JP smoke pot and yeah. bowl, and uh, I just mostly followed him on Facebook. That's what he was for That's Halloween. Smart. He was a cheerleader. He was there just rooting for you in the back. Yeah, yeah. thank goodness. 
He's got I need a root. Good I need set of pipes on that, Jeremy Joseph. Great set of pipes. Yeah. Is this the kind of bullshit we can expect a whole show? Pretty yes. Much. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. I hope you don't think it's going to get better. <laughs> nice to see nothing has changed. Yeah. I uh, wonder why I left. Okay. <laughs> thanks. No, uh, let's see. Uh, we are officially off the mandatory 10 hour days at work, Woo! which is why I was able to come do this. Yep. Nice. Um, you're looking at a guy who has a brand <laughs> new handrail on his stairway. <laughs> oh, oh, hello. Man. Damn right. I uh, remodeled my basement about 10 years ago and took the handrail off the staircase and back never, then <laughs> and never put it back. And my wife has bitched at me ever since. We need to get a fucking handrail. And, you know, because if people ever come over, you know, they if they go down the stairs, they might slip and God fall. God forbid and we'll they get don't know how to use stairs. And yeah. my whole thing is, well, that's a good way to keep people from coming come over. Yeah, uh, that's true. She didn't see it that way. Uh, I'd been promising to build one for a long time. Uh, it turns out the easiest way to do that is to go to your local home center and buy and a buy handrail. handrail. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that, that is, that's it. Uh, let's see. I also got a, we, we switched from electric to a gas oven. So Ooh, okay. So fuck all you electric snot. Yeah. Um, they're never gonna ban me from that shit. <laughs> <laughs> which I guess I can take this opportunity. We gave my my old one, which was still in decent shape. It was a it's a double oven. Um, oh yeah. There's a a gal here locally who I don't know that she does a whole lot of stand up anymore, but she's a very nice young lady. Uh, Erica Prophet oh, is her nice. name, and uh, she has a cinnamon roll business where she makes these outstanding oh, homemade so fucking good cinnamon rolls it's called cr criminal rolls so if you're local mm. here in wichita look that up hit her up order some you will not regret it but i know she did a lot of baking and with two ovens i knew she could use it so that's uh, awesome man yeah. she's yeah. an awesome person I, I, not all heroes wear capes folks and uh <laughs> <laughs> that's me yeah for sure uh last somebody week, get I, this man a cape i <laughs> Just so they know. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. I, I often do wear a cape just so people understand the kind of fucking hero that I am. <laughs> just see him running around in Harbor Freight and Lowe's, just okay. running yeah. around with a cape on. You're welcome. <laughs> he just grabs that, some and hands it that's, to somebody. That's my superhero catchphrase. <laughs> You're welcome. Nice. Uh, let's see. Last week, I, uh, I got kind of sick. I, oh. I took three days off work. It, it really knocked me on my ass, kind of stomach bug and so i uh but mostly for that time sat in bed watching youtube videos of uh, i got a, i got a new thing i'm into okay uh these fuckers who build these off the grid cabins yeah. Oh, yeah there is just something so like i don't know almost satisfying and soothing feeling about like there being a raging blizzard outside and you're you've got some creature comforts inside this but not all of them, mm -hmm. and but you're safe. It, it just, I want to do it. I could do it if I had land. Uh, I'm going to do it probably <laughs> in the backyard, <laughs> I think. Uh, we get a lot of water back there. There's, there's, it gets just as much weather as anywhere. Yeah. 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 Sometimes right. really hot. And you never I, know. I can't fish, but I'm, I'm fish. fascinated by, uh, by the cooking that oh, these really? guys do with very, very little. I mean, guys bake bread in their campfire ashes. Yeah. It's fucking weird. <laughs> but I want to try it. So, <laughs> okay. Even though I don't eat bread. <laughs> <laughs> or campfire ashes. <laughs> no, that's that's actually very keto friendly. Uh, yeah. Campfire <laughs> ashes. Good. Uh, but so anyway, that's that's the new thing that I've been watching on uh, on YouTube. Right on. And probably the biggest thing that I did is a couple of weeks ago, uh, wife and I went uh, saw Nate Bargetzi. Oh yeah, yeah. how's that? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Let me ouch. <laughs> right off the bat, wow. I'm going to say this: I will never go to another major event at Hartman Arena ever again. Ooh! It is the most poorly run, poorly managed major venue that we have around here. There. Okay, you got the traffic, the north and southbound traffic on the interstate. Mm -hmm. Me and my wife went at like four o'clock, seven o'clock show. We went to that casino that is literally <laughs> right across the interstate from the fucking. Park, uh, Hartman yeah. Arena. It's in Park City. And like you can see the front doors from the casino. So about it's a seven o'clock show. We left at 630. It took 45 minutes to get wow. from the fucking casino to Hartman Arena and find a parking spot because it all it, all the traffic from the interstate and all the traffic from east and west, it all funnels into one narrow two lane 
road for about a quarter of a mile. And so it's just one car at a time. We looked down the interstate and it was cars backed up as far as we could see. Oh, fuck. And we're talking over a mile I've in, never seen in each it that direction. Bad. Jeez. And oh apparently everybody had the same idea. Let's get there at 630. That'll be plenty of time. <clears throat> um, they had to put, put the show back uh, oh, really? about 45 wow, no minutes. Shit. They delayed the start <clears throat> of the show because of that. And then, you know, their ticket system, it's all like online, which doesn't help when they put up like an internet firewall in the building oh, yeah. because oh, they don't yeah. want people to live people stream. Streaming. And uh, yeah, when I, I kind of foresaw that a little bit. And so I printed out tickets, but those won't fucking work. So they have to look you up and you got to give them the credit card that you bought them with. And then they, oh, they give you print out tickets. So that took forever. Then like the concessions, I, we just wanted a bottle of water to share between the two of us. I stood in line at a concession stand for 20 minutes and that thing didn't move a fucking inch. <laughs> Damn it. That being said, seems like a good time. It was the best fucking comedy show I've ever been to. Nice. <laughs> oh, wow. He yeah. is the Dude, best working today. Unreal. He is absolutely yeah, brilliant. Awesome. He brought three openers with him. And, and, and that should say something too, by the way, because the worst thing you can do for a comedy show is get people all pissed off and agitated at the beginning. I've always said that at comedy clubs, having a good staff is paramount to having a good show. Because mm -hmm. if the people, they want to get in, they want to get sat, they want to get their drinks. And if the staff can't do that in a timely fashion, it can really fuck up the show. Just put everybody in a bad mood. Yeah. And everybody started this thing in a bad fucking mood. And he fucking killed. But of his three openers, two of them I, I wasn't familiar with. But then the third opener was a guy named Nick Thune, who is a pretty big name comedian. I mean, he's a headlining A-list comedian. Hmm. Uh, he's had several Comedy Central specials and Amazon special. So, I mean, he's, he's a guitar comic. Okay. Uh, he, he's kind of like what Zach Galifianakis does at the piano where he just strums and, and he, and he uh, just plays some music in the background while he puts out fucking random thoughts. <laughs> and he's very fucking funny. Good. And then Nate came out and he fucking killed. But then after the show, it took over an hour to get out of our parking spot. Oh my God. <laughs> Not to get out of the parking lot. Just the spot. Out of our fucking parking spot. It took an hour and a half to get out of the parking lot. You should lot. have just walked over to the casino. And... <laughs> I know. I would have. Yeah. Yeah. I, I thought about it. That place <laughs> fucking sucks to have major events. Good to know. Yeah. I'm, ah. I, I hope everybody who was in town to see Matt Rife that night fucking had a good time with their parking. Was it at the same place? No. no. Yeah, they had. Yeah, they they, they split there. the stage, both of them doing stand up at yeah. the same time, telling yeah. jokes. No, I didn't know if it was at Hartman or not, is what I'm saying. I, it was I, on I, the same night. Oh. No yeah. shit. No, he was at Century 2. Yeah, I'm still well, pissed was, off about the whole Matt Rife thing, Century man. Two. I thought we were going to get him on the show. He's a busy guy, man. Yeah, I get it, He's man. He's a busy guy. I don't think he tried hard enough. I mean, this is definitely true. <laughs> <laughs> There's no possible way that comes on this show. Oh, yeah. God. Oh, I barely You're going to talk about show. ruining your fucking career. <laughs> Jesus. Anymore, there goes all, there goes all the momentum. Yeah. And I barely come on this show. Yeah. Uh, well, anyways, Jeremy, glad to have you back. Or, or did you have anything? Oh, no. We, uh, you, have you been watching any good shows lately? I've been watching Off the Grid Cabin, Scotty. That's it? Yeah. Pretty much, yeah. Okay. Uh, I have uh, watched I've, The Nun too. <laughs> <laughs> was it good better than the first <laughs> it's not any worse than the first one <laughs> it's it's got some good jump scare moments in it but uh yeah, i'm out i'm not a, a huge horror film guy yeah me neither. me neither um you'll be you'll be actually very surprised i did start watching the show. I, i've already told the listeners this three episodes ago but i started watching cheers what? I'm, I'm You're in, right. I am surprised. Good. Holy shit. Good. Be still my beating heart. Season four, baby. <laughs> Season four. Coach Coach just passed away. It was mm. really sad. That is let sad. me slit my fucking wrist. <laughs> oh, man. I just pissed man. my pants a little. Oh. All right. Well, I'm glad, glad you're surprised, Jeremy. <laughs> Good deal. <laughs> God damn it. Well, Why uh, would I be surprised by that? It's a great fucking show. I didn't know how great it was. It's fucking amazing. <laughs> it, yeah, one of the considered one of the greats of all time now yeah. your generation may not get it because everybody's not on their fucking phones yeah but, uh, <laughs> yeah they, <don't. laughs> they actually have to talk to each other and yeah. shit it's true it's true it's fucking great <laughs> so coach just died he was he was kind of my favorite i love i love a couple of seasons i love him too great. but then after coach dies then uh what's his name woody harrelson yeah woody comes harrelson in. comes in a very very young woody harrelson extremely young 
Uh, but anyways, uh, glad everybody had a really good week. Now we get to move on to the, well, the, the meat and the potatoes of the show. Uh, I'll kick this off with a very sad. You can't have potatoes, Scotty. No? <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Keto. Oh, yeah. You know that. That's okay. You look great, by the way. I know. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's why the cape fits so well. Right. That's, yeah. I <laughs> yeah. mean, you can't. You, you can't be a fat slob and wear a cape. fucking cape. I agree. Bullshit. Well, yes, you, you, you can. can, but not look as good as me. Not just assume that everybody's thanking me for it. You yes, certainly don't, you can. You certainly don't <laughs> give away fucking ovens. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> Let alone uh, double ovens. Well, I don't. I don't mean to bring the show down, but I. I, I wanted. I, I loved. Uh, I love to show my entire like young life and I still watch it almost every night to go to bed. And that is friends and the sad passing of Matthew Perry really fucking sucked. Um, and it's not like, I mean, out of all of them, he would have been the one that everybody would be kind of expecting to go. He had a, he had an addiction problem with mm-hmm. alcohol and all this other stuff. Uh, but died he, in a tub of water, kind of like Whitney Houston. I wonder yeah. what happened. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I what happened. Apparently, as far as the toxicology report goes, that I have been told is that there are no drugs in his system. So I don't know what the fuck happened, but it's kind of he's a shitty swimmer. Then. Yeah, really shitty swimmer that guy. Um, but no. it was a hot tub. Yeah, it was. Maybe he cooked himself. Maybe he was trying to swim laps and he just overheated. <laughs> Could happen. Could happen. You know, did okay. Do you guys remember that? I don't even know if it's still around. That website called Rotten.com? No. Where they would show like scenes, like murder scenes, very oh, graphic no. pictures. Mm-mm. And there were some where like somebody had died in their bathtub and had been sitting there for a long time and basically just turned the thing into gravy. Oh. And that Yum. wasn't that wasn't from a heated tub. So I Can can't imagine what a heated one would have been. How that must have looked if he stewed a while. So I don't know how I know this, but I have been told that the uh, what was his name Aaron Carter. Yeah, uh, that's exactly what happened. what happened with him. Really? Yeah, like he was soup. Mm. Pretty gross. He killed Matthew Perry. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right sure next did. to him in the same spot. Uh, but no, makes re- sense. Rest in Matthew peace. Matthew Perry said Aaron Carter in the mirror three times. <laughs> I, I know <laughs> that name. What happened? Happened? Next thing I know. Yeah, I know that name, terrible. but I can't think of where I know it. Aaron Carter. Aaron Nick, Car- Carter, Nick, Nick Carter from, from the Backstreet, Backstreet Boys, okay. his little brother. Yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. I didn't realize he was dead. Yeah, he uh, OD'd, and I guess, and but he was, yeah, soup. Mm. He was gravy. Mm. Um, but anyways, uh, yeah, rest in peace. That was a pretty tough one on me. Uh, but to, to kind of bring it back up, I saw a funny fucking video over the weekend that I just wanted to make sure everybody else has gone and seen. Uh, apparently, there was a thief that was trying to, like, steal something from a grocery store. And I, uh, not all heroes wear capes, but apparently they have two liters of cola and they threw it from across the store and <laughs> decked this dude really? right in the face and knocked him out cold. It was fucking awesome. Uh, so, you know, you know, what's bullshit about that is the what? guy who threw that will probably get in trouble for it. Probably, which is, is bullshit. Yes. Um, but you know what? what? Way to go, buddy. Way to stop. I don't even know what he was stealing, but he made great like videos on TikTok. It's awesome. Uh, so I liked that. Um, those yeah. people have made it really hard to shoplift. Yeah, I know. that pisses me, <laughs> off. That pisses me off too. I just remember the twisted tea incident, and now we have the, the two liter of cola. I'm like, this is fucking great. I've had to go to new lengths to steal shit from stores. I had to keister that handrail. <laughs> <laughs> Twelve footer, yeah. Jesus Christ, I'm even impressed. <laughs> yeah, uh-huh. it yeah. didn't even. Ha- I, I had to put polyurethane on there, so yeah. there were splinters. There oh, were splinters. Okay. My God, that's not good. <laughs> he uh-huh. just waddling out of a, out of a Lowe's. I'm gonna need a doctor. Yeah, probably. Will. I, I jumped. <laughs> I you? jumped out. Yeah. Like a pogo stick. Yeah. Right. You remember the old Ducktales Nintendo game? Oh yeah, yeah where, where he could pogo cane, stick on yeah, his cane. Yeah, yeah that's, that's basically what I did. <laughs> <laughs> I dressed up as him, and I told him it was my Halloween costume. Nice. That's right. good shit. Good call. Pay no attention to the huge stick coming out of my ass. <laughs> okay. Just my cane. Yeah. However, if you're going to slip and fall, be sure and grab a hold of it. Absolutely. That's what it's for. Safety first, folks. Uh-huh. Uh, but, yeah, uh, there was a lot of great Halloween costumes in sports. I don't know if you guys saw a whole bunch of them, but nope. I've been pretty impressed. Like, uh uh, I th- I can't remember who it was, but some guy dressed up and was wearing the mask of the Jeepers Creepers guy oh, yeah. from back in the day. I think that was uh, uh, in Joku. Yeah, it was. I think it was in Joku that did that. But I, I got to you know tip my cap to where it should go. Uh, my hats are still on, but um, but yeah, there was some really good uh, Halloween costumes. Uh, but 
you know, a little too many, too many uh, Swifty outfits, but that, that's that. Yeah. What do you expect? Michael Strahan had the best one a few years ago. Yeah. He just had a shopping bag from the Gap. <laughs> okay. Because <laughs> he has a huge gap between his front teeth. That's pretty fucking awesome. It is. Yeah, I like and it. And that he acknowledges it. Uh-huh. Uh, but there's that. Uh, but we had Monday night football last night where my parlay bets came into play. Uh, God damn it. If you don't like Dan Campbell, there is something fucking wrong with you. I hate the man. That man is. Oh, God. He's, he's well, like, never, that's why you're gay. He's, never cared for oh, him. Oh, God. He's Did you ever such think that might be what's amazing, causing dude. homosexual is the dislike of Dan, Dan Campbell? Campbell? That could be it. Could be. That's, that's what's the thing. That's might the, be. It could be. Uh, but no, I, I absolutely love the guy. He got pretty emotional in an interview, and I'm just like, you you can't not like that man. Uh, but it was pretty awesome. I played Jeremy Joseph in fantasy football, beat the shit out of him. I my fucking team sucks. He's Apparently, last, he's last you, place. Scotty beat. Yeah. He's last place. <laughs> I, I and mean, I feel terrible for him because if anybody has gotten fucked in this fantasy football season, it's you. Oh yeah, yeah. Right off the bat. Uh, yeah. What's his nuts? Uh, Aaron Rodgers. <laughs> What's yeah, his nuts? Aaron Rodgers got was my hurt. starting quarterback. Yeah, I still yeah. won that week. That's the only week that I've won. <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah I beat your stepdad. Oh, perfect. And uh, yeah, ever since then, it's just been down the drain. Down I mean, yeah. it, and and the thing is, is I've had some really good weeks, mm-hmm. but the team I was playing had the fucking week of their life. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'll score well over 100 points, but they got like 160 and yep. like break the fucking league record for most points in it with nobody. Yeah, I nobody know. on their fucking team just played out of their fucking mind. Yeah, like Jameer Gibbs last night, who hasn't had I mean, he had a good week last week, but this week he, he fucking murdered and uh, being a Detroit Lions fan. That's it's pretty awesome to see, but still calm the fuck down. Lions fans, we, we have one good win on our schedule in Kansas City, and they were without Travis Kelsey and a defensive tackle. That uh, That's a big deal. Now, whenever we go and we play a, a big team and beat them, then I can say, okay, then we need to get fucking crazy. But I'm still kind of humbled. We got our, the shit kicked out of us in uh, Baltimore, and then we, go, uh, we get beat at home against Seattle, who is also a pretty decent team. So simmer down a little bit. I love Just that you're using bit. we like you're on the fucking team I or too, like you've yeah. been a lifelong yeah, fan. Yeah, yeah. I you, just, he just started like two years ago when they were yeah. on uh, that HBO show. No, it was the year before it, it was Dan Campbell's first year. I kept on saying, I love this guy and I think he's going to be great. And then the year after that became hard knocks. Okay. Well, Dan well, Campbell whatever. got there was, was whenever I – because I didn't have a team. I didn't have a group of people that I liked. And I sure shit wasn't going to be a Kansas City Chiefs fan because of Taylor Swift – not Taylor Swift, uh, Brittany, the other stupid cunt that goes to the game, Brittany Mahomes and Jackson Mahomes. But I, ever since uh, the Rams left St. Louis was when I, had, I didn't have a team. I didn't have a team uh, after that for years. Mm-hmm. And then, uh, yeah. Fell in love with Dan And then you've just jumped on the Lions and sexually assaulted them to fandom. (laughs) Something like that. They don't want you as a fan. I think you understand that. I bet you if they they knew you were a fan, they would be so pissed. Probably. That's a good point. They've heard you on this podcast, (laughs) and they're like, oh, God, this is the worst thing to ever happen to Detroit. And have you seen fucking Detroit? Detroit's pretty bad <laughs> yeah. off. Yeah. 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 And and they're considering this the lo- worst of mm, all time. It's a, it's a lovely city. They, they I mean, it No, really it's is. not. And they'll be the first to tell you that. I don't think so. I think it's a lovely city. It's, it's great weather. You know, this not is a how lot of fucking cr- delusional you are. You not think a lot you're crime. on the Lions. Not a lot of crime. It's, you know, it's a good place. No <laughs> crime. Hardly happy, any. Happy hardly any most any of crime. the people have moved. <laughs> yeah, <there's>, nobody's left. <laughs> yeah. There's oh. nobody there to report it to. No, they still got the, you know, the the big, huge uh, car manufacturers there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're doing great yeah. right now on strike. I know. Um, <laughs> they, I know. Uh, there was a few years ago when the Royals would play the Tigers. Yeah. And you could look at the skyline and see, like, skyscrapers with trees and shit coming out coming of them. Coming out of them, yeah. Busted up window, yeah. Ew. That's That sucks. Mm. Anyways, uh... We had uh, something that was really great to happen over uh, the weekend as well in football, and that is uh, JP's team won. God uh, bless them. And more than anything, oh, they beat the Kansas City I Chiefs. I loved every minute of it, man. It was <laughs> yeah. so fucking awesome. Uh, Fuck you, Chiefs. 
And we'd have won that first game, too, if they'd fucking called a goddamn holding penalty I three, believe, time, yeah, three I, different I, times. I know, I know, I know, but it was but great. that's okay. It was, we got our revenge. I, I, I know, it, but... It, it seems it, almost cruel. It almost gives you hope. You know, the only <laughs> thing is, I, the victory feels good, but they were missing a player. Uh, Patrick Mahomes? And Taylor Swift. She, oh, didn't, yeah, she yeah. didn't show up. I was going to ask. That's is, what happens when Taylor Swift doesn't come to the game. Is that Swifty curse real? Oh, well, yeah. Like oh, for sure. I think they, Are you kidding me? The, they're, they're undefeated when she's there, and then they've lost twice with her without her. So uh, You would think they would fucking make her come to every game. So and the, and the best part about this entire situation, best part about the whole thing, is that I really hate the Denver Broncos. I really oh, hate good. them as an organization. Cool. But do you know what they did after the game was over? Yeah, they played Shake It Off. They played dude. Shake I It Off by it. Taylor Swift. Was I was so like, awesome. oh, that's so oh, spectacular. It's fucking fantastic. Yeah, so um, way to go. Way I, to go. I love the idea that Travis Kelsey has a Hall of Fame career already built off of what he's done before this season, mm -hmm. and yet people think, how well he does depends on whether Taylor Swift is there or well, not. So far, so far, it's accurate. It's so far, yeah, it is accurate. It is accurate. So you know, maybe, um, but probably not. But maybe. You I know how women are. Once good. they get their fucking claws in you, man. I, I know how well it did change. for Tony Romo. That's uh, yeah. That worked. That worked out uh -huh. well. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. But, didn't uh, he, like, kick her out of the car? Uh, he should have if he didn't. <laughs> I believe so. Left her on the fucking roadside yeah, out in front of the deserves. IHOP. Yeah. Where, well, you, well, that's what you should do. Maybe yeah, she I had agree. a shift. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe she had a shift. Um. <laughs> anyways, uh, as far as other football and, and the news and stuff like that, you can go and look it up. Uh, I just know <laughs> Kirk Cousins. <laughs> Way to be informative. Yeah, Kirk, Kirk Cousins gets hurt. He's out for the season. Uh, it started as a sports podcast. <laughs> It did. It initially, hey, you guys it did. Into sports shit. Look it up yourself. Yeah. yeah. You want to know about sports? Fucking go to ESPN. But that was one of the biggest things, though. Like that, it yeah. took it took four years to fucking realize. But if you have a sports podcast, and even if you're a little bit different than everybody else, um, nobody gives a fuck what you have to think about it. Well, like, and to think. have all the fucking hot takes that you need to and have them make sense, you've got to be really into yeah. sports. Uh, uh, you've yeah. got to do nothing but sport. You can't have a regular job. Yeah, that's initially what this whole show was supposed to be about. It was supposed to be a rated R sports center. Yeah, we were going to say the things that the mainstream media was too afraid to say. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right? And, and we do. Yeah, we do. Uh, but except it, for the N word, we've never gone. We've there. never no. gone there no, yet. Gone that way. Maybe we I, should. If somebody, <laughs> if there, if there is I one mean, of us that is going to do it, who do you think it would be? I just jumped back onto this hey. for one episode, but I'm still saying we. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Good. Sky hey, style. Look at that. Uh, follow examples. Oh, uh, whatever. Good deal. Uh, but we also do have uh, some baseball going on. I don't know if you guys uh, noticed that. We got the World Series yeah, going yeah. on. Yeah, want, want, want. Hey, man, it's the, Texas, it's the Texas Rangers and the Arizona Diamondbacks. Nobody cares. Out of all of the teams, all that matters is that the Houston Astros aren't in yeah, it. Yeah, I don't that's give nice, a but... shit who wins. I really yeah. hope. Uh, you know what? I really don't care. I, I kind of root for Arizona, and I kind of root think for Texas. That, I don't think that. Even their fans, I don't think, care. Oh, no, they care. They care. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, yeah. I don't oh, for know. sure. Texas fans, maybe, because. Maybe. Know. Maybe. Uh, but I was going to ask, like, especially Jeremy. Jeremy, you're a baseball fan. Do you mm -hmm. watch the World Series if your team's not in it? I mean, of you, course have, I do. you have to because yes. you're a Royals fan. So I, I, there is something actually very magical about October baseball. It's November. I understand that. I'm just which is such bullshit that they've expanded the fucking playoffs that they're playing <laughs> into November. And it's still October 31st, you dick. Oh, uh, it's true. Come tomorrow. No. Yeah. When this podcast I'm, I'm airs. Done. No. <laughs> Come midnight tonight, I'm going to actually get on my DVR and I'm going to have it block all baseball. Okay, fine. You should. Including all the Bad News Bears movies. <laughs> okay, <laughs> no, fine. No, fuck that. Even the remake? Ooh, yeah. That's oh, cool. yeah, because I don't really consider that a movie. Yeah. Mm. I was going to say, maybe that one that you I refer, watch. Is it weird that I refer to the original movies as the trilogy? <laughs> for, I mean, for me, that's my cinematic trilogy. That's cool. Okay, I right. like that. I like that. Not too. Star Wars. Not I the like Godfather. it better than Star Wars. Yeah, sure. Uh, they went to Japan, and beat them. Yeah, they did. <laughs> right, uh, but stupid yeah. Japanese. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they can't play baseball. They hit with chopsticks. <laughs> <laughs> How's your wife, Jeremy? I don't know. Very, <laughs> very, very. <laughs> hey, I'm just. She's saying. at home and not supposed yeah. to be. That's it, pissing me off. By the way, that's something I forgot to. Oh, add. my wife was supposed to be traveling for work. She's had this stint where she's had to go out of town for work a few times, and this this was supposed to be the final one of the year, and it got canceled. And that pisses me off because she's going to have to reschedule it for later. And it, whenever she gets that out of the way, we can finally get a fucking dog. Yeah, and I want a dog. Yeah. 
I, I hear you. I don't, it's not that I want her home. I want her dog. Okay. And somebody needs to be home with it while I'm at work. Um, and that's her. I got gotcha. you. I see the problem now. Because if it because if it were me, I would just go and get it's a dog. It's not safe to leave an Asian at home with a dog, by the way. <laughs> I was going to say, that's kind of a weird deal already. Speaking of hitting with chopsticks. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I need to rethink this. Um, we did get uh, something sports related from another podcast. It's called the Wisconsinite Podcast. They, asked, they wanted to ask us on Facebook, what do we think about flag football being in the Olympics? It pisses me off because bowling still isn't in the Olympics. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a fucking joke. Like, I mean, hobby horsing is in the Olympics. Yeah, there's no, everything not. is in the Olympics. Huh? Yeah, man. They're Olymp- uh, Olympic it, it, fucking they hobby were, horses, baby. Somebody suggested it, but it, <laughs> it hasn't didn't passed. get in. Uh, you don't beach know that. volleyball. <laughs> in order for me for fuck's to... Sake. I'll watch it. In order yeah, for I'm me sure. to have an opinion on this means that me I would too. have to think about the Olympics, and I don't. That's true. I have not given a shit about the Olympics in 20 years. I the t- last good ones were in Germany. I tell you what. Damn right. <laughs> <laughs> that Owens, though, he shouldn't have won. Yeah, what are you going to do? Or are we talking about the ones with the uh, 76 in Munich? Yeah, Munich. Okay. Yeah. Because uh, Germany. No, no, no. Go. I'm talking... Yeah, you're talking about Jesse Owens. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but no, I, I think it's really, really stupid to have flag football in the Olympics. However, in the Special Olympics, go fucking nuts. I think that'd be just fine. That'd be, that'd be, that'd be great. I mean, I could, I would love. You'd have to make it flag football because they can't tackle each other. They have the strength of 20 men. You have no idea how aggressive a couple of guys in wheelchairs can be. I mean, they play basketball that's a lot more aggressive and dangerous. Yeah, it's like it's like basketball and the fucking. I don't uh, even think what it's demolition called, derby all yes. in one. I don't think it's even called basketball. I think it's, it's I think it's like death ball yeah, or some it's, it's, shit. It's crazy. Yeah, you so. know, one of the the most uh, the one biggest one guy broke his leg for the Special Olympics is Jamal Charles. Yeah, uh, he competed in the Special Olympics. Yeah. He had some learning disability, and he that just a, seems unfair. <laughs> it's very unfucking fair. Uh, but you know what? I bet he won gold. Just saying. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was the thing about. That's why it was so unfair. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, but anyways, the, uh, the last thing I wanted to mention was something I was actually really excited about. And I just, I dream someday that this would happen to me, but I have a, I have a new favorite band that I really, really like. And I liked whenever I was in high school, but blink 182, uh, came out with their, uh, like their reunion album. And, uh, they ended up doing a pop-up concert in a Denny's in long beach, California. How fucking rad would that have been? Like who's name a favorite band that you would love to see live and they do it in a fucking Denny's and they did it like the meme when name they sh- a band that's worth a fuck that would actually do that us we would do it in a Denny's oh well no. I do know that you're we? considered a musician yeah. first yeah well you uh, would but manage the rest us. us of course I would you yeah. and I I would drop you immediately we're a band. I think we're a band of I brothers. I do play. I do play a mean skin for oh, Sure, you do. <laughs> I fucking the two handed version, which uh-huh. is rare. Yeah, that is rare. Uh, I heard somebody talking about one of the more pathetic things that they've ever seen. They were at a hotel bar, and Chuck Mangione came in mm. with his flugelhorn and just started playing "Feel So Right," and then packed it up and left. <laughs> Like expecting everybody to go, oh my God, is that Chuck Mangione? <laughs> and nobody gave a shit. And I feel like that's kind of what happened with Blink 182 here. <laughs> no. I feel like. no, that, that. They're like, we're going to go in here and change some fucking lives. This is going to be the greatest thing they've ever been through. And people are like, I'm trying to eat my moons over Miami. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> can you guys shut the fuck up? God she serious. can't take my order. That's not even food. Gretchen I- can't take my order. I, I would have really enjoyed it. I would have had a great time. Yeah, you're the one. Okay. <laughs> no, that, well, that Denny's. Was Most cool. decent people wouldn't be caught dead at a fucking Denny's. Denny's, no matter what. <laughs> if Blink-182 is there, you're oh, going, yeah, though. No. Oh, whatever. No, I'm not. I'm fine. I'm fine at a different Denny's. Whatever. If Matt Reif went, <laughs> if Matt then Reif I would went, go. You're going. Uh, but, but imagine if Matt Reif went, picked up a mic, and did a tight 15. Yeah. Actually, no, all he does is fucking crowd work. So <laughs> yeah, the, which he doesn't would be have really a good 15. in a Denny's. Sure it would. <laughs> God. What and can you make fun in there? <laughs> yeah. Lots of things. 
Uh, but anyways, that is current events for this week. Now we get to move on to the fun parts of the show. Uh, we get to you know make jokes like we haven't already been doing. Uh, we get to move on to overrated or underrated guys. Uh, good job, good job out there to all of you listeners. Yeah, tons of suggestions. Tons man. of suggestions this week on all of our platforms. Uh, you know the uh, the Facebooks, the Twitters, and the Instagrams. And yet it was not hard to narrow it down to five. Uh, <laughs> I'm guessing most of them sucked. Uh, I have a I have a voice in my head of what the listeners of this sound like, <laughs> and like for the question, hey hey fellas, hey fellas, I got I got a great one for you. Uh, 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 what's what's something that you can say when you're picking your nose and with your wife having sex? <laughs> That's pretty good. Isn't that good. It's pretty good. That's pretty accurate. Which, by the way. Uh, there's a lot more hair in there than there used to be. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, no, hats off to That's all of you That's one question out of the way. <laughs> That's true. Let's cut this fucker short. Uh-huh. Uh, but no, uh, facebook.com slash laughing on the sidelines. Uh, Twitter or X, whatever the fuck you want to call it, is at L-O-T sidelines. That name may change here coming up pretty quick, so we'll be uh, ready for what, that. X? Uh, on X, yeah. Why? Oh, Why? your name on X. Our, not, our name on X may change a little bit. Not, yeah. You're not going to uh, change the name of X. N- no, you don't have that kind of control. I mean, maybe. I mean, maybe this thing is fucking taking off to a impressive. level that I Elon didn't thinks, realize. That would be impressive. Elon's the one who told me I was a prodigy. Nice. Well, yeah. then, I, who am I to fucking argue? <laughs> My mistake. I wish you would have told me that right away, and I yeah. would have never made fun of you. Yeah, he thinks I got some great ideas. Uh, I bet he does. Anyways, uh, he's foreign. He may not have had <laughs> good language good at point, that point. He's actually African. Did you know that? South African. Yeah, I did. Uh, yeah, real down south. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. Anyway, boy, you want to talk about some racist? <laughs> Yeah, right. <laughs> it's that Africa. makes Mississippi look pretty fucking taller. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this is true. Uh, anyways, uh, kick off overrated or underrated. This comes in from Facebook. This is Keith Litsky. Uh, he's uh, going to suggest one that we've already done before, but what the fuck? It's been a long time. Uh, he wants to know overrated or underrated one night stands. How could it possibly be overrated? Oh, I can give you plenty of reasons. Why. Well, I mean, it could be bad. Well, yeah, but I mean, you don't, you're always taking that chance. So I say underrated, way underrated. Okay. I mean, the more the merrier. The fuck. I mean, let's just do this. I've had a few in my in my yeah, day. Me too. Back in my heyday uh, of of when I looked just like the guy that's on the picture of yeah. The, yeah. You were hot. I think. I don't know what the fuck happened. Uh, a lot of food and a lot of beer. A lot became of a Lions fan and became that a Lions happens. fan. That'll honestly. do it. That'll do it. Uh, no, I'm going to say it's way overrated. Uh, a lot of things. You don't know this person very well, and even though you get to fuck them, the best part uh, is, um, like, I think, getting to know somebody. But if you don't know them, you can possibly get something that uh, affects your life. Like, I don't know, AIDS or another STD. I did think I got pregnant once. See, and, and The condom broke. And that's the one. Yeah. That's the other yep. one. You can accidentally get pregnant scary. with a person you don't want to have a kid with. Yep. Uh, so I'm going to say overrated. Jeremy? Uh, I am coming up on the 20th year of a one-night stand. and uh, <laughs> Way overrated. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> seriously that uh, it wasn't supposed to go anywhere yeah. and it she just wouldn't go away, <laughs> wouldn't go away. asians are loyal like that yeah. man. Oh, boy yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. you yeah. can eat with chopsticks can't you no, no. actually i have refused that to boy. learn how to <laughs> it's not <laughs> that's, yeah that's been it's my because she didn't want to teach him he just won't that fucking has been do my it. one way of rebelling against that and um she hasn't noticed at all. <laughs> it has gone entirely on those. Turns I out, I just use two forks. And just the difference. <laughs> Turns out, every Asian restaurant also has forks. That's right. Crazy. December sixth, right around the corner. Yeah. Anyways, uh, next one it's also seventh, Scotty. Seventh? Did I say sixth? You I po- sure did. I apologize. Are you thinking June sixth? That was D Day. <laughs> yeah. You got June and December. Yeah. Confused. They sound a lot alike. They do. Uh, next one uh, is uh, comes also in from Facebook. This comes from Nathan Blackwell. Uh, no, I'm sorry. Nathan uh, Blackwool. Is that right? No, we, we're, we're not doing that this okay, week. Fine. That was last week. Anyways. And he got all pissy. So <laughs> we're going to cut that out. We're just going to call him. <laughs> That's what it name. was, too. It was that. That's no, what I, know. Was. I, I know. I knew it. I yeah. knew it. You hate when people mispronounce names. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, he wants to know, overrated or underrated, giving your two weeks notice. Way underrated. Really? It's fucking the best. Except for... When they say, you know what? Fuck you. Go ahead and get out now. We don't need you. And then you're like, well, fuck. I plan on being here for two more weeks. I got to go find a job. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, 
my my mother always told me not to burn bridges when it comes to this particular situation. And uh, most of the time she's right. But in this particular case, she is incorrect. Uh, no, I think it's way overrated. Uh, first of all, you're not obligated to do that. Uh, you can if you want to, uh, but you're not obligated to. And uh, anymore, if you give your two weeks notice in certain situations, you're right. You are not Most going to get, you're they, not getting yeah. the two weeks Most because you're not motivated don't. anymore. Right. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to say this is, uh, this is overrated. Jeremy? I wouldn't know. You wouldn't know. I believe I've been asked to leave every job <laughs> that, I've, <laughs> that I've ever, that I no longer have. And uh, however, at the yeah. current job I have, I think about it. A lot. Yeah. Um, here's the one thing that people don't realize. that If you don't give proper notice, in certain cases, they can fuck like with your pension, yeah. your retirement and shit like that. If you if you have that or if you're like JP, you can I was going to say, I just clock out. <laughs> I fucking forget all that pension, retirement and shit. Yeah. I'm going to win the lottery. <laughs> I have found one irrefutable rule in in working in one place in a large place with all kinds of different management and shit. And that is that the ass you want to kick today might be the one you have to kiss tomorrow. Mm. Uh, so it probably behooves you to do the right thing. Yeah. I had to kiss some ass once. I'm sure you did. French. I'm sure. What about all the times you didn't have to? <laughs> well, I did it anyway. Cause <laughs> it's something I like to do. Sure. So gross. All right. Uh, next one. Uh, comes in from Instagram. This is uh, from Corey Hannes. Uh, he wants to know, overrated or underrated, dino-shaped mozzarella sticks. How could it ever be overrated? This is definitely underrated. They could be shaped like fucking, I don't know, think of something stupid. Sticks? Yeah. <laughs> How about that? Sticks. <laughs> yeah. What was wrong with that? <laughs> Were people not eating mozzarella Dude, sticks because of the shape? I want dino nuggets and I want dino nuggets and dino mozzarella sticks now. <laughs> yeah, this is underrated. Anything yeah. dinosaur-shaped, Great. it's got to be good. Mm -hmm. Right? For sure. Jeremy? I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I, I literally don't give a fuck. The only thing that I can hold against them is that they most likely are not very accurate. <laughs> Which <laughs> is a wants... depiction of what the dinosaurs probably look like. Exactly. Yeah. The chicken's a little bit more accurate, though, aren't they? Because dinosaurs they are kind are of, kind of birds. Yeah. True. yeah. It's true. A lot of people Good think call. that the dinosaurs may have had some feathers, and so the chicken nuggets should probably have. Feathers. Yeah, they should. I'm going to hold that against them. It's not like they don't have access to fucking feathers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they got a whole factory full. Uh, all right. Next one uh, comes in from Twitter. Uh, this is from at Ian Smoke PW. He wants to know, overrated or underrated, using a fake name at a restaurant reservation. I used to do this all the fucking time, <laughs> and I thought I was a goddamn genius. <laughs> Because I'd tell them, like, you know, I need a reservation for two for Kavanaugh. And then they'd call Kavanaugh. And I just, <laughs> oh, I've, you stupid fuck. That's not even my name. Why in the fuck would they know that that's my name? Why? Why would I have done that? Why did I think it was so fucking great? <laughs> it's, uh, it's because. Fuck me back then. <laughs> it's because it's fun. Why? I, but it's not. I don't, yeah. I don't think it. Yeah. I, I, I think it's fun. Especially Overrated. if you can give the restaurant a laugh. And I'm not saying do it with like some famous person. But if you did the Griswolds or something like that, I think that would. You know what I'm saying? Griswold. Yeah. Party of four. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. I get it now. Well, do something uh, fun is all okay. I'm saying. I God it, damn it. Man. Here's so the I'll here's the reason. thing. While I have never actually worked in, like, uh, as a waiter or a host or anything like that at a restaurant, at, as a high schooler, I did work at McDonald's for, I don't know, six, eight months. Yep. I can tell you that everybody in a restaurant hates you already. Yeah. They don't true. give a fuck what you tell them your name is. Yeah. They would just rather you weren't there. Yeah, I guess I'm going to change to overrated. <laughs> so it's not like you're going to say that you, you they're not going to sit there going, oh, that guy made my fucking day with his fake name. Yeah. Oh, he was They re have forgotten about you by the time they serve you. <laughs> oh, that's so nice. No tip, but you made me cookies. Oh, that's going to help. Shit like that. Uh, let's see. You don't bring your waiter cookies? No. <laughs> no, I bring them I, money. Well, I do that too, but I also oh. bring some cookies. Well, good for you. That's a good person. 
Uh, last one. What if I did? <laughs> <laughs> what if I just brought in a little gift basket for my my wife? Said, my server. <laughs> my every time go. I went out to eat, my wife said that she had a regular that never tipped her, but brought her like bags of candy and bags of shit, and then really? oh yeah, never tipped her though. Bags of shit. Well, like bags of bags of like candy and like uh, and shit. Religious saying. I'm giving out for stuff like that. Yeah, I gotta get me home. too. Fun yeah, drink. for real. We need to get this. Start right, making though. up baggies. <laughs> right. <laughs> I gotta make some bags. <laughs> well, okay. Uh, last one. Overrated or underrated? Women who wear shirts with no bra. I thought you were just going to stop at women, and I had an answer. <laughs> <laughs> no. But now. This changes it. I say, because I love tits, it depends. Like, are you at Walmart or are you at Saks Fifth Avenue? Which one are you at? Because well, well, if you're at Walmart, way overrated. <laughs> if you're at Saks probably underrated where do you think this is most likely to happen probably walmart <laughs> Here you so go. i'll go with overrated then because nobody <laughs> with, wants to see with that, women man. who shouldn't <laughs> yeah no. it's right. never overrated. the women that should uh-uh mm-hmm. it, it's it's way overrated guys yeah I think way so too. overrated yep let's go that way uh-huh uh yeah so unless jeremy you had anything to add on to that no no okay yeah, it's overrated that's fine what about women that wear a bra with no shirt um, those who can pull it off, <laughs> it's a, it's, same deal. it's sexy it's, as fuck. It's the same, same deal. deal. No, it's not. Uh, but, but it's but, like a 400 pound woman in spandex. Here's <laughs> the, here's the thing. Women who wear like, just like bras and cause those motherfuckers can be padded and stuff That's like true. that. Yeah. And I've, I know shit. I have, Tricky. I have been so let down before mm -hmm. of where tits are supposed to look absolutely amazing. They take their bra off and they just, just go straight to the fucking floor. I do the well, same thing with my pants have, and a banana. I'm sure. Yeah. yeah. But anyway. you don't go sock. <laughs> no banana all the no. way. Huh? <laughs> yeah. Because what I if guess, I get hungry? Sure. I mean, or, I mean, you night like a nice uh, fragrant bouquet down there. That's true. Yeah. I do socks. that. You're not going to get that, that. socks. No. no. God, no. Hold not it. unless you use Unstoppables. Oh. Okay. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, that's overrated or underrated. Now we get to move on to that's where I draw the line. Uh, we got a whole bunch of Facebookers in here. Here we go. Here yeah, we go. there's JP's favorite uh, segment. Yeah. Uh, anyways, uh, Reese Newland, he wants to know what is the Reese? Point? Yeah, Reese. Reese's. Reese's. Reese's Newland. Reese Newland. Yeah, okay. Uh, he wants to know what is the point where a campfire is too big? <laughs> when it burns your off grid cabin down. <laughs> <laughs> when you set something on fire that wasn't supposed to be on fire. Uh, wasn't, where's that college that they did the fucking. I don't know. They killed a bunch of students. They used they A and M, wasn't it? A and M, yeah. A &M. That's too big. That's how you know if if you're killing people, your campfire is too big. I I I felt that's where you draw so the line. indestructible as a young person. I really did. And you and you laugh about it now. Uh, well, you laughed about it then, but you didn't realize how close to death you were whenever you had oh, that one so idiot times, in high yeah. school. That's like, yeah, we're gonna make a bonfire. Yeah. I got two fucking uh, like two gallon jugs of gasoline. We're gonna see how oh, big Jesus, we get yes. this. Yeah, yeah, there's always that guy, and don't die. Get away from that shit. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, that's who do big. not understand how gasoline works. <laughs> that's, that's right. Because yeah. there's no real way to do that without it dribbling on you. Uh huh. And it'll it'll travel. There is fire if you travels. start if you start the fire with the gas containers already in the middle of the pile. Uh huh. Then it's okay. No, my favorite was the guy that the, the fire had already been started and, and then, then goes gas, pours and dumb. pours gas no, out, big out of the yeah, out of the jug. Smart. Yeah, don't that's do that shit. Smart. Fucking idiots. Anyway, uh, that's yeah. way easier than kindling in another match. <laughs> yeah. It is easier. Uh, next one. Uh, we're going to move over this one. We'll save that one for last. Uh, next one comes in from Jeremiah, Je Jeremiah Ferguson. Uh, he wants to know, at what point is spicy food too spicy for you? I am a fucking puss. I do not like spicy things. So... I joke, my limit is mild sauce from Taco Bell. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah, dude, I'm not. I'm a mild sauce guy. I think that, yeah, spicy stuff, I just don't. It just does. Ugh. Yeah, no, I hear you. I don't uh, like it. That Pocky chip can yeah. go <sighs> and suck it. Dude, it why would you ever do that to yourself? It's the dumbest fucking thing we've ever done. 
Oh. It wound up being so much worse than we ever thought <laughs> that it was going to be. Yeah. That was... And, and next the, to my kidney stone, I'm going to say even that little nitro gummy bear was the most painful thing, and it was a oh, very similar kind of pain. Uh huh. Why? It, it, it it's like because it's six times higher than your bullshit. <laughs> yeah, right. you asshole. Yeah, yeah it is. Uh, that pocket chip is a little bitch compared to that fucking gummy gummy mm-hmm. bear. And I thought that I was giving Jeremy the easy way out by giving him the gummy bear. Mm-hmm. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, it was way worse. <laughs> so. I think if if it's so hot that you can't enjoy the flavor of something, that's where you draw the line. You're like, this is fucking ridiculous. It's so little. It's so little, but it's so dangerous. It's so it packs a punch. Give it a shot. No, yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead, dude. I just told you mild sauce from Taco oh, Bell. Oh, it's not much worse than that. <laughs> no, it's not. No, it's not. In fact, as far as the hot, like the heat in your mouth for that thing, is actually not that bad. Hmm. The, the real thing is it tries to destroy your inside yeah it's, when you're trying to get it out it's bad it, it's full of pure capsaicin oil it's like yeah. it's not even real gummy on the outside it's like wax that they made wax lips out of yeah and so you swallow it and then it opens up inside your stomach and just releases and it starts hurting and starts like How it's eating its way out <laughs> probably like 15 bucks a pop Dude, and a guy sent in a six pack of yeah be, yeah there's there's four dude, others up there so awesome. we got plenty go ahead it yeah. would be <laughs> awesome to like get a batch of gummy bears and just toss I have been trying to oh. do that with Derek forever yeah he won't he won't do it, but he's he won't do it. your way on yeah he's like your way yeah either. he's your way he, he won't why do would it. you do that yeah, um, no thank you yeah. yeah it starts trying to eat its way out of your stomach and it just keeps getting worse and worse and you're sitting there going I don't know if this is going to stop yeah <laughs> you're Fuck. actually you're actually kind of <laughs> contemplating do I do I have to shit and you go and you sit on the toilet and you can't shit I, it's I amazing. didn't even do that I think it, it it wasn't even like I had to shit. It was something is trying to eat its way out <laughs> of my stomach. And I held it together pretty well on the show. You did. But as soon as the fucking camera was off, I went like laid on the floor and like spread myself out <laughs> just to try and give myself the most surface area in my stomach. I didn't know what the hat would do. It, yeah, it's kind of one of those pains that just makes uh, you crawl up on the think, floor. Yeah. And, and Fantastic. Yeah, Jer- it, Jeremy was laid out on the floor. <laughs> I was laid out on the floor. Derek's just sitting there laughing his ass off, and my wife yeah, is he going ate up, some dish soap, he, je- fucking, fucking jelly beans, stupid. But my wife goes up and luckily had some like tums or something like that, and that's what eventually, what eventually did it. get calmed yeah. it down. Yeah, we God. must have ate most of the bottle. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's it was awesome. fucking bad. Anyways, yeah, hope you uh, remember that, guys. Uh, next, you want my opinion? What on the hot sauce? Oh yeah. Uh, I like hot sauce, actually, Yeah. despite all that bullshit. Um, but it's got to have good flavor. Mm-hmm. Some things they just make hot to be fucking hot, yeah. and that's that's stupid. Um, you know, like probably the hottest sauce that I'll eat, uh, Trader Joe's makes a habanero sauce. Mm. And normally I don't care for habaneros. I think they're just heat, but this has some decent flavor. But that's that's about the, the hottest thing, and I use it sparingly. Okay. I've got one of those uh, that I, that's like a go-to hot sauce. It's uh, El Zarape um, hot sauce, and you can only get it here locally. Sorry, guys, uh, but it's from my hometown. Are you talking locally in Detroit? Yeah, locally where, where in you, Detroit. Where, you're, where you consider your hometown now? No, I think they actually ship all over the country now, but it's El Zarape. It's actually from Garden City, Kansas, and I don't even know if the rest – yeah, the restaurant's still open, but mm. they specialize in selling hot sauce, and you can order it, and it's uh, it's my favorite. The mild is, but the hot is a little hot. Um, anyways, moving on. Uh, we're going to move on to the next one. This comes in from Brandon Lyles. Uh, he wants to know, how cold does it have to be before the heat gets turned on in your house? JP? 65. So you, you turn the heat on immediately when you feel any kind of discomfort Fuck yeah. of the temperature in the because house. Because I want to be comfortable. Yeah. Okay, so, and you live in the basement, right? No, I live up, <coughs> upstairs. I just figured you were in the basement. I live upstairs. Uh huh. Okay, that's fine. Uh, and heat rises, right? So, okay, that makes a little bit of sense. But I don't have like so the way our house is set up, it's it's fucked. I don't and need the details. So when it's hot, 
Okay, I'm done. I'm just kidding. Nope. Go, go I, don't want to talk, I don't want to talk anymore. <laughs> I'm interested. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. just kidding. You know I'll talk plans. to you, Jeremy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so when you go in, it's the entryway and then the kitchen and a living room. Okay. Then you go back down a hallway. There's a bed, the main bedroom. The guy that actually owns the house, he stays in that bedroom. Mm-hmm. And then you go down into a like a basement. It's not really a basement. It used to be like a, a mud room. Mm-hmm. But it's downstairs, and now that's his brother's room. Then you go upstairs, and there's a bathroom and a room and a room, and the room over here connects to my room clear across the other side of the house, and there's separate stairs to get up to my room. Oh, wow. But for whatever reason, the heater is in like where the laundry room and stuff is, which mm-hmm. is underneath my room. So when they turn the heater on, it fucking gets stupid hot. So I close my vent all the way, and then I just have like an electric fireplace. and I Oh, okay. So. Yeah. Boy, I got to tell you, Scotty, I owe you an apology. Yeah, I knew that was coming. I knew it. I fucking knew it. Boy, I should have oh, just a gone real with your piece of shit, man. And I was happy you were going to be here. Ah, uh, man. I, not now. <laughs> no, you ruined it. I, I forgot you guys love floor layouts. And- <laughs> that's that's actually Dinner what's party, replaced yeah. horse talk is actually floor layout talk. Oh, nice. Yeah. Nice. Um, but just describing another room in JP's house. Right. Because no. it sounds like you have a big fucking house. It's it's huge, man. Yeah. It is. Yeah. Yeah. He's rich. It's not my house. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm rich. <laughs> I'm fucking... You know what, man? I did go uh, since I thought it was going to cost a lot more to fix my car. Yeah. And so since I had some extra money saved back, I went and bought a new Xbox <laughs> <laughs> yesterday. I feel so stupid for doing it. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Yeah, it's a lot. 600 fucking dollars. It's insane, mm. isn't it? You can't yeah, make fun of a, me dude. for buying a driver no, ever again. No, not anymore. Uh-huh. All right. Oh, you really celebrated that window. Ah, yeah. Yeah, fuck yeah, Did you dude. buy it at a drive thru I sure did. <laughs> <laughs> I sure, well, it wasn't a drive thru but I called them and asked them if they could bring it out. And then, yeah. <laughs> it's just, it's like, I, now that I'm here, I have to buy something. Yeah, right. <laughs> just sat in front of Best Buy, just, hey, yeah. hey, hey, can you go in and give me an Xbox? Here's my card. <laughs> Jesus. As the guy came out with it, he got hit in the head with a two-liter bottle. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And... Turns out my Xbox was free. Uh, <laughs> win-win. Uh, no, I'm the same way as JP. I, 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 it's only me and my wife in this house. I knew it. Yeah, dude. And so I don't uh, yeah. give a shit. I, I, I just close off. I saw me. a senior picture. I, Flag it. I close off at the rest of the house that we don't really use, and I just turn because, it. Yeah. I turn it to the temperature that I want it to be at. And mm. in the winter, guess what? If it gets below. If it's if it gets below sixty five in this house, it's fucking colder than that. I don't care what the damn right. thermostat We keep ours says. on seventy one. Yeah, seven, I I say seventy one to sixty nine is depending on the season. So that's sixty nine. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. Yeah. High school. Yeah. Uh, how about you, Jeremy? Okay, I'm gonna need some clarification on this question. Okay. <laughs> before I turn it on, or before it gets turned yeah, on? Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, when would when you gets, turn it on? When it gets turned on is about a chilly 86 degrees. <laughs> <laughs> we'll run it in the summertime. Uh, uh, balmy uh, she, 86. She gets cold for no fucking reason. <laughs> um, I try and heat it up with my dance moves. <laughs> oh, wow. I'll do my stand-up set for her. Oh, yeah. I'll, I'll, do, I'll, I'll take my shirt off like Matt Wright. Holy shit. Yeah. And That's it just hot. does not work for her. Wow. Um, that was actually... One of the funniest things, I, I don't know that I've ever laughed harder. Uh, she woke, like was half awake in bed. I was up getting ready for work, and she like she talks when she's half asleep, and she's it's almost like a child. She's like, it's cold in here. And so I go, well, check this out. And I pulled my underwear down and start <laughs> flopping my dick around. Well, check this out. And she goes... What's that for? I said, I'm heating up the room. <laughs> and her response was, oh. <laughs> and went back to sleep. <laughs> and just her, oh. like like the sincerest, <laughs> like there was nothing but love in her voice. Oh. Well, thank you. <laughs> and and, and just, apparently she was able to go back to sleep, so it did the job. <laughs> She didn't even touch the thermostat. Huh? No. (laughs) Um, But no, I grew up in a house. Okay. Up until seventh grade, my folks lived in like one of the smallest houses in town. What's the layout look like? Oh, God. (laughs) Imagine JP's garage. (laughs) Hmm. 
with a living room in it. Uh, yeah. No, I, it I, I turns out my garage does have a living room in it. <laughs> there you go. And then in seventh grade, my parents, you know, they were always very frugal with their money and they would always wait for these great. And they got this amazing deal on, I think, square footage wise, the biggest house in the little town where I live in. Wow. Uh, 5,000 square foot. Motherfucker. Now, but it's old. Yeah. Very old. It was built in 1904. Wow. But the uh, the That's when they built them to last. Yeah, that's true. The heating and air conditioning in that house was from the 60s. And so we heated the fucker with a wood-burning stove. Mm. And so I got very accustomed to just putting on more clothes, more socks, blankets, just wherever I went. And so a lot of times I don't even think about kicking on the fucking furnace. <laughs> yeah. I mean, unless I'm like seeing my breath. Yeah. In the house, I I just don't. Okay. Makes sense. Uh, next one. This comes in from Will Gonzalez. Uh, he wants to know, what age should you stop going to nightclubs? That's, that's a tricky one. I think that's tricky. Like That is the gayest thing I've ever heard you say, just the what? way that it's, you just said that. Tricky. That's tricky. If you're going to break into a fucking Run DMC nightclubs. song, it's I'm tricky, leaving. Tricky. 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 Yeah. It's true. Yeah. Uh, no, I think that's a little bit. No, okay. I, I don't know. Yeah, I, I don't know. Well, here's. I mean, if you're married, yeah, you don't fucking go to nightclubs at all. But if you're, well, I'm not married. I'm single. Should I go to a nightclub? Fuck no. You should. No, and I'll tell you why I shouldn't. Why? Because when I used to go to nightclubs. I would look at the people that are my age that were sitting at the bar and go, fuck, I <laughs> never want to be that guy. Well. And here I am, that guy. You're that so guy. I've done some very bad things in my life. And <laughs> That's why we love know, you. I'm paying the price. Mm -hmm. But I think fucking, I think in your 30s, I would say. Ow. I would say 35. Oh, my I'm time ran out. I think, yeah, I think your time's my long time, gone. My time ran out. God but you can it. still go to bars. Yeah, that's my favorite. You just I don't go bars. to a what, fucking dance nightclub. Yeah, that's a good point. I don't. I like you still go to bars. That's what we can consider this question, like yeah. a dance club. You know, right? That's what go I out would on say. the dance floor. And, God damn it! But I could do some mean two stepping. I dog. bet you can. I fucking dude. can. I, I put my shit kickers can. and nut huggers on and go out and cut okay. up a floor. Wow. But uh, but yeah. And I think that's a different type of club. I think that if you're is. going to do fucking some honky tonk, yeah. then that might be okay for older people. It is. There's not many of us oh. left. You're right. That like uh, you know wow, that you kind just of stuff. Tore that thing in half. He did. He's very powerful. Don't fuck with JP. JP's pen is just all fuckered up now. Uh, but no, I agree. I think I think 35 is is where it's at. I, I very 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 it's rarely got two turntables and a microphone. That's right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I think I think once you hit that mid 30s, yeah, it's just that's the wrong crowd. Yeah. You need to get on eharmony.com for that kind of shit. Yeah, so, a grinder. Uh, it, well, if you're like that. So, anyways, that's where my answer is. That's where I draw the line. How about you, Jeremy? If you're funny. Uh, for me, it's not an age as much as it is a mindset. Okay. Uh, when you are to the point where you're like, can they turn the fucking music down? Yeah, that's time to. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, when you're, when you're looking at them being like, I have a kid their age. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's... Uh, yeah, stop. Yeah. <laughs> okay. There's, okay, I think Greg Barrett said it the best because um, he would like go to a, go, still go to concerts and get down in the crowd and he'd like wear a chain wallet and stuff and oh, yeah. rip jeans. And he's like, you know, a lot of people, they like a bad boy. Nobody likes a bad man. <laughs> and if you're I'm not nobody, if you're the cool man in the club, it's, it's time to go. <laughs> it's time to go. Yeah. Agreed. Okay. Last uh, and certainly not least of this segment, at what? Uh, I like that one. When you don't uh, have to. This is an easy answer. When I you know. don't have to add up to see if you still have enough money to go to Denny's after the club. <laughs> that, that's. <laughs> yes. Uh, last one is, at what age does your sexual organ become just a way to have to go to the bathroom? Or I'm sorry, let me say it again. At what age does your sexual organ become just a way to go to the bathroom? 42. 42? Yeah, that was um, four years ago. That was four years ago? Yeah, that's when it happened. I think it's um, when you realize that you're I mean, too I still play with it, but it doesn't, you know. I think it's when you realize that like you're too old anymore. to go to a fucking nightclub. Same what, thing. That's, that's what I'm yeah. saying. Okay. I, I think, especially when you're married, when you are married, it's just inevitable. It just, it eventually, it it's just, just yeah, it stops. just stops. Yeah. Uh, but you still love the person, but, you know, it's just, it's, yeah, you've done it so many times. Okay. It's, it's the same. So 35. 
<laughs> That's what you said about the club. No, I'll say I'm, I'm gonna lie. I'm gonna I'll, I'll say I'll say fifty. Fifty it is. Fifty it is. Jeremy. Jeremy. Well, if you're creative like I am, you incorporate a way, incorporate a way to go to the bathroom during sex. We, we <laughs> yeah. make that a part of our regular play. Yeah. I'm not opposed. Yeah. I'm not opposed. You're still into munting down there, aren't you there, Jeremy? Yeah, I heard he was. Yeah. That's a little. <sighs> so this is what we can expect. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's not you fucking change, Detroiters, man. man. <laughs> Detroiters. Yeah, that's what we bastards. do. Bastards. Uh, uh, no, it. God damn it. What? What? What was the old saying? Behind, behind every beautiful woman is a man who's tired of fucking her. Yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah. and I mean it's yeah it it's not that I don't like sex anymore, but I certainly don't look as forward to it. It's it's uh, just as much like exercise. Now. <laughs> <laughs> it's a I, fucking chore. Mm-hmm. Yeah, dude. yeah. And all I want is a pie it's, afterwards. It's like going to the gym, except we got to shower first. Yeah, it's like <clears throat> it's like can't we just can't we just go to bed, lay down, yeah, go man. go to bed, and go to sleep? Mm-hmm. That that sounds fun. Uh, when, when we when you make it a habit to be sure and shut the lights off, <laughs> so it doesn't. The happen. passion is gone. Yeah. <laughs> when when you have to plan it, like I was thinking about having some sex tomorrow. Where are you at on that? You know, and <laughs> where, where are you at on that? Let oh. me pencil it in for just before dinner because you know we can't do it once we get full. Yeah, uh, right. Smart. Yeah. Uh man. Well, that is that's where we draw the line this week. And now we get to move on to a very very requested thing. Whenever Jeremy comes on, this is bad advice with Jeremy Joseph. Yes, sir. Rebob. Jeremy Joseph, uh, whenever you're in here, every I mean, we get a couple of them that are just old, and there was a whole bunch of people that said that they wanted bad advice with Jeremy, but nobody fucking wrote anything. So I got a yeah. I got a uh, a personal message. I think message. all the people who wanted it followed it. Yeah, and, probably. Uh, they're probably no longer with us. Yeah. Probably. Um, but uh, I got in touch with uh, an old uh, friend of the show. Uh, he was helping us out uh, when we first started. His name was is it M- Matt Rife. No, it was Mitch. Oh. Uh, good old Mitch. Old uh, Mitch. Good old Mitch found God. out that you were coming back on the show, and so he wrote good a, guy, uh, Mitch. a bad, uh, bad advice from Jeremy, and uh, this is what he writes from Mitch. He says, Dear Jeremy, my wife and I have recently moved into our first house together, and my wife is very excited to start decorating the whole house for Christmas. She just bought a Christmas tree and a Christmas theme or in Christmas themed decorative pillows. How do I make sure to avoid the situation of being married to a Christmas nut job like you have? How in the fuck should I know? <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Obviously, this is not something I can do, but I came up with a couple of ways that might be possible. Uh, first off, something that I think would be very popular in the world we live in currently, uh, become Jewish. <laughs> <laughs> There's a good way. Yeah, that'll do it. Convert <laughs> <laughs> uh, and insist that your wife respect your beliefs and, uh, you know, shame her if she doesn't. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Uh, I don't know how old you are, but if you have some... Uh, you know, left-leaning college-age friends, and they want to know why you would do this, uh, just show them the TikTok video that I made last year. (laughs) Yeah. Uh, You'll save money on Christmas ornaments and just in general because that'll be in your heritage now. Um, (laughs) Let's see. You can uh, burn your house down. (laughs) Uh, This can be a little tricky. You want to make sure you're not in there. Um, (laughs) You're going to have to study... uh, like being an electrician so that you can fake faulty wiring. Uh, I don't know how to do that, but I'm sure with enough training, you could figure out a way to make the wiring in your house just bad enough so that when you're off shopping somewhere, it'll start a fire. Um, (laughs) Now, granted, you will get uh, insurance money being a homeowner. I'm assuming you, there's no way you fucking paid that off already. Uh, So, yeah, that you've you've got homeowners insurance. Um, make sure to specify in the policy that the insurance money cannot be used for future Christmas decorations. <laughs> um, you can uh, strongly suggest to your wife just kind of get this idea in her head that every time you buy a Christmas ornament, God kills a puppy. <laughs> now, this is going to take some work on your part because uh, if she goes and buys one. 
you have to go kill a puppy and uh, <laughs> bring it in and put it on the porch. And I, I love puppies, so please don't do that one. And um, I guess the final one and the probably the, the easiest, best way, uh, get fucking divorced. <laughs> uh, if you are a longtime friend of this show and have been listening since the beginning, it's headed there. Anyway, <laughs> I'm pretty goddamn sure. Uh, <laughs> you should thing. really consider yourself lucky that it's gotten to the house buying phase of your relationship, but uh, you should count your blessings because that thing's going to be over pretty damn soon. <laughs> so you might as well just initiate things, and that way you don't have to go through what I've gone through. <laughs> and that's my advice. <laughs> Thank you very much, Mr. Jeremy Joseph. My pleasure. Thank Always you Always happy to help out. That's right. <laughs> Wow, I miss that. I miss that segment quite often, or uh, quite a bit, actually. Oh, but now we get to move to uh, Jeremy's favorite part of every single episode. This is the questions and Spanish questions. Pregnant questions. Pregnant questions. Uh, one of my favorites too. Anything? Uh, any, any other nicknames we got for uh, questions? No. Okay. Cool. Awful. <laughs> okay, that's fine too. Boring. No, it's fun. It's fun. A waste of my goddamn time and talents. That's true. Yeah, it is. Uh, but anyways, we're going to kick this thing off with a couple of uh, questions from you guys. Uh, first one comes in from Facebook. This is from Corbin Clark. Uh, he wants to know, what is an unreasonable deal breaker for you in any situation? Um, what? Yeah, so th 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 this is how they word things, and this is how I have to kind of figure out well, what they're trying to say. That is very fucking generic. I'm too high to know what the fuck he means. <laughs> Far if, too high. Let's say you're going to uh, a place, and uh, a person shows up and <clears throat> does something, and you go, nope, I'm not hanging That's out with that That's all stuff person. I would never do. Okay. <laughs> I would never go to a place and do some stuff. Yeah. yeah ever. Know. But it's an unreasonable deal breaker for you, for somebody, and that's what makes you call it all off. Way to go, Corbin. Yeah. Why'd you pick it? <laughs> that's what I want to know. Like, you said there was a lot of suggestions, but this is what you fucking pick? Hey, hey, it's a decent Hey, Corbin, idea. do me a favor. No, don't do what he says. Do me a favor, Corbin. No. Go fucking slam your head in the car door, okay? <laughs> Man, because what the fuck kind of question is this? No, I know. You it. know hey, what my deal breaker hey, hey, is? Hey, Felix. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, what, what exactly. Would be, uh, what would be a like. deal breaker for yeah. you poor, in any situation? Poor, poor, I think if poor Corbin, Corbin Clark shows up, it's my deal breaker. Poor Corbin. <laughs> Poor Corbin. Well, that's yeah. a shit question. <laughs> Stupid fucking. We appreciate your listenership. I bet Corbin's really a woman. Honestly. Yeah. Uh, no, I think, I think if... Um, Oh, God, that's a bad joke. No, uh, no, I'm not going to say that. Uh, I think it, if anybody ever skimps on tipping a waiter, I'm done with that person forever. I will. I, I mean, but that's reasonable. Yeah. Um, but along the same lines as that, if somebody doesn't put up their fucking shopping cart, I'm never talking to them again. Yeah. Ever. You want to go shopping? Fuck you. <laughs> no. I'll fucking. No. <laughs> that's all it takes. Let's go shopping. <laughs> uh, uh, no, I won't go. So that's that's mine. That's very unreasonable, okay. but that's a deal breaker for me. Right. How about you, Jeremy? Uh, if they insist that I learn how to eat with chopsticks. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I like that I'm one. I'm just waiting for that day. Yeah. Uh, this one comes in from Instagram. This is Reichenfrost. Haven't heard from him in a long time. That's a hot name. I Reichenfrost. Figured, I, figured I like you'd that. I like it. Yep. Uh, he uh, it wants sounds like something in like a, a Nordic magic spell. Mm. It sounds like a fucking. I'd like him to give me a Nordic mm -hmm. magic spell. It sounds like a Mortal Kombat character. Okay. Like Reichenfrost. Something, something that Thor would use. Some weapon yeah. that wielded the Reichenfrost. Yeah, it's like a it's like a cold lightning bolt. Uh, but no, Reichenfrost wants. No, it's sounds not like that a cool. place. That's, that'd be way too cool. Sounds this like is... a place in Zelda, Reichenfrost. Okay. You have to go visit Reichenfrost. It's in the and fight. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Like this it. weapon though would just like throw a handful of dust in your eyes. Or something. <laughs> 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 okay. This would make this, this this would let enough tire air out of your tires to make the low tire pressure light come on. <laughs> just enough. That's all the Reichenfrost would do. <laughs> Fucking Reichenfrost again. It, it'd make your fucking check my tires engine on the way to work. Yeah. That's all it's going to do. Okay. It's uh, going to annoy the fuck out of you. Oh, all right. Well, Reichenfrost. Damn it, I just had it in the shop. What the fuck? <laughs> Good job, Reichenfrost. Just setting off TPMS mm -hmm. lights everywhere. Uh, but anyways, he wants to know, what are two things you should never do back to back? 
take a shower and then take a shit. Okay, you can't. You got to do if you do one first. If you do shower you first, shower. yeah, you got to re shower after that. Shower, shit, shower. You got to shower. Yes, you got to shit, you shower, extra and shave. Hour, uh, extra but, S. But you just don't ever do the shower and then realize when you get out of the shower. God damn it! I got to take a shit. You got to take another shower again. Okay. How about you, JP? What do you never do back to back? He he never showers. You never, you never ever get fucked and then suck their dick. Mm. Yeah. No ass to mouth, huh? No. no. <laughs> so that's my answer. Okay. That's disgusting. Don't do that back to back. I would never do that. Suck the so. dick and then same deal. Like a shower and shit. Same thing. Oh God. Okay. All right. Uh how about you, Jeremy? I bet he doesn't say the same thing I did. I guarantee you he doesn't. Actually, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there was your chance, man. It, it was. Uh, yeah. Um, God damn it! <laughs> Eat a lot of food. Go on a roller coaster. That's, okay, that's a I, realistic one. Okay, I'm going to wait, wait till your wife goes out of town and jerk <laughs> off so much. <laughs> <laughs> that's why you're mad. Your wife is yes. staying in town. That's right. Yeah. yeah. That's what happened. I got plenty of jerk off time. I mean, it's I, I don't care who's around, honestly. That's the that's the chlamydia story right there. Mm-hmm. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah, that's what the Reichenfrost is. <laughs> fake that's, chlamydia. It gives you false chlamydia. False chlamydia. False chlamydia. <laughs> that's good shit. Um, I don't know if this really counts as back to back as much as just out of order. But there are some people I know who do this, and they're fucking monsters who put the milk in and then the cereal. Oh, oh God! What the that's fuck would people that's, do? That? Yeah, that's a fucking yeah, good, that's a good one. one. You guys, way better than mine. Uh, that is one hundred. Oh, I don't know that it's correct. better. Uh, I could probably tolerate uh, milk first then yeah. cereal rather than going yeah. ass to mouth from a dude. <laughs> that's true. Good call. <laughs> oh man, that's bad. Yeah, that's like that. Those are that's a very good one. Uh, all right. Uh, that should be the shitty situation. <laughs> Would you rather have to make cereal milk first or, or go ask the mouth dick after, after, just after you've yeah, right. Oh, yeah. God, that's I know which one I'd pick. <laughs> yeah, the cereal. I never liked cereal. I mean, they're pretty <laughs> equal, but. Yeah. yeah. Uh, anyways, next question. Uh, now these are real questions. Uh, next question. <laughs> Nothing screams, I'm definitely in college, like blank. A lot of debt. I was going to say a fridge full of dollar sandwiches from QT. Mm -hmm. And I mean, dude, that's what we lived on. Yeah. A cabinet full of ramen noodles. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How about you, Jeremy? Uh, All of your laundry in the washer at one time. (laughs) Yeah. No matter what colors, no matter what. Yeah, that's true. Oh, yeah. I still do that. Oh yeah, there's a whole I, I uh, paying for something with change. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That ain't twelve no pack. Well, we got enough for a twelve <laughs> pack. I'm sure of it. Oh yeah, um, going to Florida on spring break. Yeah, that's a good one. There you go. Uh, rich people. I never got to do that. Never, neither never did either. Yeah, I'm sure you did. No, I never rich, did. You rich, I didn't. Uh, any, Thinking that Denny's is gourmet. Gourmet. <laughs> only when Blink-182 is there. If I really want to impress her, I'll take her to Denny's after the nightclub. Uh-huh. Yep. Going to that, uh, the the local area food, or to get food. Yeah, I think that's good. Still having your fucking graduation tassel hanging from your rearview mirror. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. Still wearing your high, sc- your cu- high school class letter, ring. Or letter jacket. Or letter, letter jacket. jacket. Yeah, yeah. Oh, man. You guys are shitty people. Uh, I think I've still got a couple class that, rings, as a matter of fact. I still have I don't my know if they're jacket. shitty people, yeah. just losers. Sorry, they, they don't know the world yet. Yeah, that's true. Mm-hmm. Okay, uh, next question. Which fictional character would be a terrible high school teacher? Um, Fucking Herbert. <laughs> Herbert? Herbert from Family Herbert Guy. Herbert the Pervert? Herbert the Pervert. Oh, shit. <laughs> Would you like a popsicle? <laughs> Would you guys like a popsicle? Yeah, yeah, that Come guy. Come on inside and just have yourself a seat there. <laughs> yep, that guy. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking any of them. You know who I think would be terrible? Marvin the Martian. Yeah? Yeah, he'd just blow up the school. Yeah, that would suck. Okay, you guys, you got to go ahead and sit. I can't do it, Yosemite Marvin Yosemite Sam. 
Oh yeah, that'd, that'd be, be good. that would be a good one. Or Foghorn Lake. I say, I say, I say, boy. <laughs> no, I think come on over okay. here. I think he'd be okay. You can't call them boys anymore. Tasmanian. They've been emancipated. Tasmanian devil. I'd be on that one. How about you there, oh, Jay? I'd be riveted. <laughs> You'd like that? Oh, the I teacher would. from Charlie Brown. That's fucking annoying, too. Oh, God. It's the same thing. Yeah. Like, wah, 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 She's wah, already wah, a teacher, wah, wah. so that would be. Swedish chef. Yeah. <laughs> I would think that would be awesome. I, I love think it would that be hilarious. Guy. Yeah. Sorry. How about you, Jeremy? Jeremy. Is, okay, this can just be any fictional character? Yeah, yeah anyone. Okay, well, then that amalgamation that I made up of all of our fucking listeners. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. Uh, Those uh, exist. Let me, uh, uh, let me tell you a little bit about the Pythagorean theorem. Uh, oh, a shit. squared. P- they- plus, uh, plus B squared, which I say squared. <laughs> shit. Okay, fair right, enough. Good. During sex. <laughs> during sex. I am. What's, what's something you could use during algebra and having sex, kids? <laughs> Protractor. <laughs> no. I have no idea. Uh, but yeah. yeah, we're going to talk NASCAR. <laughs> okay. Compass. Uh, and last question. Rejected sign language gestures. Mine's easy. For whore, just. Oh. That. <laughs> yeah. I like that. Oh, actually, okay. Uh, that is actually the symbol yeah. for blowjob. That <laughs> is the sign language. Well, this is. Yeah. But no, I'm talking like this. That's that's. For I think that just means lots of blowjobs. <laughs> yeah. okay. uh, speaking of Nick Thune, he had a great joke in his in his uh, one of his specials about how he had a sign language interpreter because there was deaf people there, uh-huh. and one of his jokes had the word blowjob in it, and he saw what it was, and so he just spent the next five minutes saying Doing blowjob that, yeah. over and <laughs> over funny. and over again. That's funny. Uh, that's fun. That's I love it when comedians do that, or or whenever they like cover up their mouth so the so people who are deaf can't see what's going on. It's my favorite thing that they do. It's great. Great. It's because uh, their material sucks. Probably. Uh, yeah, I got something to be funny. Do on. you do you got anything, JP? Um, hmm. I don't know. You don't know? I'm sure out of everybody here. Like, I think you could come up with something pretty damn disgusting and gross, like fucking slip and slide, which I still don't know what that is, but apparently that's something that uh, I do not know about. Oh, you mean like an Urban Dictionary? Yeah. Doing a slip and slide? Language, though, I don't know how you do it. Oh, no. Y- y- you can. <laughs> that one I, I would I, love to see the Urban no. Dictionary in sign language. Or actually, how about, <laughs> yeah. how about this one? Oh, oh no. Yeah, that's like, that's like a that. Oh, no. Okay. That's, that's gross. All right, that's mine, I guess. How about you, Jeremy Joseph? Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so we got to come up with something that they didn't go with? They didn't yeah. go with. I think that, like, okay, originally, like, the the way to point in a certain direction, they had to first move their finger over their throat. And so <laughs> yeah. Okay. okay. I like that. So every deaf person you thought was just trying to fucking kill, kill you. you. That's <laughs> funny. Deaf people are very violent. They are violent and they're yeah. gross. Mm-hmm. I won't, I won't eat at a restaurant with them. Yeah. <laughs> I, yeah. Anyways. All right. Well, All right. Well, that is questions and preguntas for this week. Now we get to move on to a very popular part of every single episode. This is the Laughing on the Sidelines Draft. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines Draft. And uh, JP fucking won last week, baby. I win a lot when Jeremy's not here. (laughs) Yeah, that's true. But you beat Derek, surprisingly enough. Yeah, fuck Derek. I knew I'd beat him. uh, We had the uh, best uh, celebrity appearances in WWE. I had fucking Donald Trump and Snoop Dogg. You did? How how, how could I lose? I had Dennis Rodman, apparently. That's a good one. uh, People didn't like him as much. Well, they just don't like you. Yeah, I know. Um, But anyways. What about Jay Leno? Who got Jay Leno? I didn't even know he was there. Nobody oh, got, that nobody was, got Jay that Leno. That was maybe the the worst fucking storyline. Jay Leno teamed up with DDP. Oh, against, <laughs> oh, I do remember <laughs> that. Hogan and I don't remember who the fuck he had. Conan O'Brien. 
<laughs> yeah, Conan right. O'Brien's a fucking monster. Yeah. He's like six foot six. I love six. that dude. Yeah, he's tall. Oh, and he's funniest guy in yeah, late night history. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, don't you dare go over Johnny Carson. Sorry, Merv Griffin. Mm-hmm. Oh, he's way funnier than Johnny I Carson. Love Johnny. Johnny Carson paved the way, but I Conan's- love Johnny. Anyways, uh, so that means that uh, JP gets the championship picks for this week's draft. Uh, Derek's not here, and he gets took second, so I get the middle picks. And because Mr. Jeremy Joseph has not been here in such a long time, he gets the uh, advantage of the very first pick. And this week's draft is going to go along with the high school edition of this show. I think you should not tell him what it is, and we'd still just make our pick <laughs> and let him try to guess. Uh but- Okay. But no, don't. Okay. Uh, But no, this week's draft is going to be our least favorite things about high school. Uh, Jeremy Joseph, you get the very first pick, my friend. Uh, Unpredictable boners. (laughs) (laughs) And that just won the draft. Uh, Right. It it really, what? I mean, it's like I'm not even, I mean, yes, I'm horny right now, but there's nothing (laughs) turning me on right now why do i have a boner uh man now i would love to get a boner okay um i don't know i don't know how you you say it but i hated like gossip like rumors and gossip that was like my least favorite thing especially that so i'm i'm gonna go with that as my first pick, gossip is my first pick. <coughs> JP, you get two in a row. Homework. Oh fuck, that's a good one. Damn it. And fucking getting up early. Oh, that's that's easy. I do that anyway. Uh, yeah, I still don't. It's easy now. I fucking hate I don't it then. Like, yeah. Did you really? Well, yeah. that's because I was a fucking insomniac. So after my one hour of sleep, that's me too. I. Just don't sleep very well, and then yeah, have I, to I get finally up go got school. rested for the or you know settled down for the night, and then fuck, there's the alarm. Yep, man. I let's see. I have I have a couple of them that I that I want to pick, but I don't think. Uh, oh boy, I will go with. Uh, hmm. Yeah. I'm going to go with pep rallies is going to be my next one. And I was a jock, too. Why did you hate those? That's got you out of class. Yeah. I didn't one like the it. Best part. I thought it was so fucking stupid. It, it, was just, it just wasn't my thing. Are you telling me you never won a fucking game because of all the pep they rallied? Exactly. <laughs> That's exactly what I'm saying. I mean, we were definitely going down, but they really oh, got our spirits up. Rallied. Yeah. No, I okay. hated it. All right. Uh, you get... Two in a row, Mr. Jeremy Joseph. Uh, fuck, I don't know. Uh, let's see. Uh, it's a okay. lot harder than I thought. <laughs> it, it, it is. Yeah. Um, well, how do you top fucking random, random boners? boners. <laughs> okay. The young teacher who thought they were fucking cool. Yeah. Hated that fucking guy. Uh, that was our wrestling coach. Or, uh, yeah, our history, history teacher and wrestling coach. He was... He used to go to the parties. That's it fucking weird. Real, uh, and, and he ended up marrying. One mm-hmm. of, well, of course they do. One the guy the, in my brother's yeah. class married the music teacher. Yeah. Wow. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay. And that was back in the day when that shit would happen and they'd just sweep it under oh, the rug. Oh, yeah. 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 They okay. didn't talk about it. No. All right. Uh, so that way they could go on to teach elsewhere. Okay. And you get one more there, Jeremy. Um, I am going to go with... Uh, of course, that's more of a grade school thing than a high school thing. Well, so, is, um, so is unpredictable boners, but I didn't, I didn't stop you on that. Following, oh no, no, that continued. What, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> How did you not have a beard in your senior picture if you were getting uncontrollable boners in I sh- grade school? I shaved. You know, okay. that's just what it is. All right. Well, apparently that fell out of fashion with you. <laughs> And you didn't realize how ridiculous beards look on you. But uh-huh. yeah, I uh, couldn't wear a hat. Ooh, no hats? Yeah, in my high school, you couldn't wear a hat. Same. No, same. We couldn't either. Uh, I am going to go with... So I had to brush my hair every fucking day. I, I didn't mind that. I, I, didn't, I didn't care. I, had, I wanted so bad. I grew up in the grunge era. And so I wanted so bad to have the long, straight hair the that you like part in the middle. <laughs> and oh, yeah. 
and my hair was naturally curly mm-hmm. and it fucking sucked. Uh, I even had them straighten it with like perm stuff. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> that lasted a day. Yeah. Uh, I got one that uh, I really hated, and that is being dropped off by your parents. Did you never get? Because I did. We didn't have buses. Oh yeah. No, we did not have. We buses. We didn't either. We had to walk. Oh well, uphill both ways in the snow. In the snow. I'm sure it was there, yeah. JP. God, weirdo. Uh, you get two in a row, JP. No recess. In high school. Yep. No recess. Okay. Just you lunch. had recess in high school, Scotty. Yeah. I had, well, I had gym class. Well, well, that's not that's recess. Ah, that's what I did in, in recess. Okay. It was play. And then right. Play sports. That's what I did. And then you get one more. This will be my fourth one. Yep. So I got one more after this. Yep. I'm going to go with uh, classes. Okay. Just in general, class. I hated it. Well, like, that's that's the whole the worst part. Well, it's the worst part. Like, where you said, like, fucking lunch was cool. All that. Just classes sucked. Okay. Okay. I Class. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm going to go with standardized testing. Mm, good one. Good. I take Which one, one back. did you guys have to take? I had to take the ACT. Well, okay, but that's college placement. Oh. You, well, did we you have to take college. one to assess your skills? all through school like yes starting in uh first grade i believe we had to take the iowa test of basic skills. right right that's how they get them right same deal i don't i remember taking the act whenever i was a junior and that i don't i I, other than that i know we had to take some kind of test but i don't know which one it was but anyways i was a terrible fucking student and so when i scored as high as i did on the fucking acts everybody's like what in the fuck is Mm -hmm. happening Yep, same, same with me, uh, Jeremy. These are your except results. you scored so low. <laughs> no, I scored like, pretty how high. How did you make it? I I got an academic scholarship and uh, to go where I went, and then I got a baseball scholarship to go along with it, and it was still expensive as fuck. Uh, well, Jeremy, that didn't sound very smart. It wasn't. It was that dumb. Sounds more like they got the better of you. <laughs> it sounds like they did. Uh, Jeremy, these are your last two, man. Uh, I'm gonna go with. Um, I'll I'll get specific. Cafeteria pizza. Oh, that's our good. school cafeteria pizza was dog shit. <laughs> was it the squares? Yeah, yeah. Which automatically makes it shit pizza. It is. I don't give a shit if you <laughs> take the best pizza in the world. You cut it into squares. I'm not fucking eating it. Yeah. I ain't pizza anymore. I don't know. Uh-huh. Why'd you fucking ruin it? That's what I say. Um, yep. And I am going to go with. Um, mm, yeah. Mm, 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 mm. I, I mean, I had a lot of things that I hated about high school, but they're very specific to me and my high school. I don't know that they're necessarily relatable. Mm-hmm. Like my shop teacher, he and I fucking hated each other. I wish they had shop class with um, where I went to school. Uh, we, shop or, or uh, wood shop? We, we, we only had wood shop, and I couldn't take it because me and the teacher were so fucking at odds with each other, which is probably why I love woodworking now. <laughs> um, our auto shop teacher, he was actually also my like seventh grade history and science teacher, mm-hmm. and uh, he was a married man, got caught fucking the new seventh grade teacher, oh. and that became a big scandal in, in the classroom. He got caught fucking her in the classroom. Well, you should. And um, yeah, he got fired after that. And uh, yeah, his wife didn't do much of his laundry, so it was kind of funny watching him. Oh, <laughs> they just shit wrinkled clothes. And uh, they didn't just, have the school shooting locks on the doors back then. No, yeah. my senior year is when they first like, and I don't even remember which one it was, but it was like one of the first school shootings that made major Columbine. I'm guessing. No, that was a couple years later. Okay, that would have been ninety seven, ninety eight, something like that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, to where on our senior trip we couldn't take uh, squirt guns because if oh. you even brought toy guns to school, you'd be expelled. Uh, let's see, fuck. Um, I'm gonna go with having a shit car. <laughs> oh cool. yeah, my, my first car. Now, by the time after my junior year, I had saved up enough money and made a deal with my parents. Oh, I got a fucking kick-ass car. Mm-hmm. But up until then, I had an '84 Chevy Citation. 73 Ford Maverick. <laughs> Those could at least be fixed up into hot rods. Well, I did. <laughs> Citation was one of the first cars to come out with a four-cylinder yeah. engine, and it was a turn. Okay. It was just mm. a step above a Chevette. <laughs> Chevette. <laughs> and I knew guys who had Chevettes. However, it was four wheels and a fucking seat, and I loved it. Yeah. At the time, mm-hmm. it represented some modicum freedom. of freedom. Yeah. yeah. Until I got a real car. 
I uh, I'm gonna go with my last one, and that is going to be reading. Mm. Yeah, I was not a fan. Probably oh. still can't do it. I, oh, given what I've seen now, spelling would probably <laughs> be. Yeah. Judging like, by this paper, I'm dyslexic, so there's a reason why. Uh, that's why there's spell check on those. Good deal. Yeah, that's got to be, or else this whole thing would be a mess. Uh, but yeah, reading was not my strong suit. But if I had reading assignments, it, it, it spark notes, baby. That was that was the lifesaver back in the day. JP, this is your last pick. Uh, the dividers in between the urinals in the bathroom. They didn't, he didn't care for them. <laughs> I didn't, didn't like that. that didn't that kept him from, yes. There were exactly. cocks everywhere. Yes. <laughs> That's why he loved PE. He got to shower. Yes. So that oh, would be my man. one of my least favorite things. Oh, shit. And then at the end of every single draft, I always have a good a couple of them that come to mind. I'm like, oh, shit, that day sucks. Sexual education. Just, well, that was fun. I mm-hmm. thought that was weird. Yeah, it wasn't bad. No, it was just like, it was like somebody's, it wasn't even a teacher. It was like somebody's mom. It was our mom. gym coach. Is gym yeah. coach? Yeah, they forced the dude that it was the gym coach, and that dude was that, awesome already. He, he so we doesn't want to yeah. do it, but he has to. So yeah. it's like, all right, Mr. The, Jones. He was the very guy fucking who, just fucking point of the matter. Yeah, this is a vagina. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean. Like the guy who had spent the last two years telling you you were a pussy now has yeah, to tell you what one, one, tell you what one is. <laughs> right. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Uh, any more that you guys didn't really like? I, I I couldn't get along. Uh, or I liked I, high school, man. I liked it too, but there was the things that were still really, really fucking annoying. Like I did not like like after school care, but not everybody had that. Mm. Uh, like, and I hated being dropped off because we didn't have school buses. Not all of us so, have nannies and yeah. all that stuff. No, but like yeah, it must have been sucked. so embarrassing to be dropped tough. off in, in your Rolls limo. Royce. Yeah. I also hated the. He's not denying it. I also mm-hmm. hated like the fashion uh, from back then. Everything was always like fucking expensive. It always felt like like Abercrombie and Fitch, Hollister. Dude, have you bought jeans lately? Uh, yes, you I bought have. A pair of fucking Levi's. You're gonna spend seventy, eighty bucks. If you go to the wrong fucking place, sir, I can tell you where to get some nice Levi's. So, huh? There you go. Uh, but no, are I, you trying to sell me your fucking Levi's? Do you, yeah. are you that <laughs> hard up for money? Dude? I think yeah. he is. Uh, but no, like going through puberty and pimples and acne and yeah, stuff like that. That was, that was a great. bad one. Yeah, I hated cool. that. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah so. When I was mine, I actually mine hit pretty early, like in seventh eighth grade. So summer between my uh, eighth grade year and freshman year, they put me on Accutane. Oh yeah, which yeah. is an acne yeah. medication, but it is literally the equivalent of dropping a nuclear bomb <laughs> on your body. It is. Yeah. Yes, it handles the fucking acne. But it, I mean, it fucks you. It does liver damage. It it dries up all the oil yeah. in your body. So you get dehydrated. Your lips are always chapped, and they crack out like big splits, bloody lip splits. And, yeah. and for me, it drained or dried up all the fluid in my knees. Yeah. And we had PE first period. And so I would have to go there and, like, run with no lubricating fluid in my knees. And just, it was like I had arthritis. It fucking sucked. Yeah. Uh, then they came out with other stuff later that would like uh, was like, uh, oh, I can't even think of what it was called, but it would eat a fucking hole through your face. Like if some people had well, bad was, reactions to it. There was another one called Retin-A. Uh-uh. That yeah, was yeah a topical, Retin-A, that's what I used. That, that was, was a topical horrible. cream, but yeah. for the bad cases like mine. Sounds like I should have picked acne. It's, and Fuck. it's like there was no step in between. There was, Retin-A. There was the mild Retin-A, Retin-A which yeah. was just a, like a step above Oxy-10. And then there was the fucking nuclear bomb. Yeah. And then the last one I was going to do was high school relationships, like like boyfriend-girlfriend shit. It was just so much. It's so stupid. I bet you didn't care for that, JP. Nope. You and your beards? Sure didn't. Nope. <laughs> but My beard. Anyway. My beard got in the way. Yeah. But anyways, guys, that is our list for our least favorite things about high school. You can go and uh, give us your comments and list of uh, ones that you don't like. But go and vote on the list that you like the most. On Facebook.com slash laughing on the sidelines or on Instagram at laughing on the sidelines. And whoever wins gets absolutely nothing, but we'll make them feel important. Uh, but now we get to move on to my favorite part of every single episode. This is the laughing on the sidelines shitty situation of the week. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines shitty situation brought to you by Fanger Bang Beer 
and Legos. Yeah. Gotta love your Legos. Jeremy? Yeah. What, what Legos? <laughs> <laughs> what, He's been gone for a while. What Legos situation do you You're have on. for us today? I, I'm waiting on a goddamn question. Oh. You can't just say Jeremy. All right. Yeah. I, I need to know. What do you want to know, Scotty? What the fuck do you want to know? You want to know what the tragedy is for this week? Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, uh, on August 12th, uh, 2000, the Russian Navy ran their first major training exercise since the fall of the Soviet Union. Uh, among the vessels that were involved was a nuclear-powered K-141 submarine known as the Kursk. Um, they, uh, it was the pride of the Russian submarine fleet. Uh, they claimed that it could take a direct impact from a torpedo, and they called it unsinkable. Uh, if you know anything about history, <laughs> uh, nature is very proud of the sea and does not like when you call shit unsinkable. <laughs> It'll make shit happen. So while it was underwater, uh, during one of their exercises, uh, the crew loaded a dummy torpedo, which was an actual functioning torpedo with no high explosives on it. And a faulty weld in it caused it to leak um, uh, high test peroxide, which is the oxidizer that you add to the fuel to make the fuel combustible underwater. Um, oxidizer itself is not flammable, but it makes things that aren't normally flammable, flammable. <laughs> and as you can imagine, eventually a fire broke out in the munitions chamber with the real torpedoes. Uh, <laughs> later on that morning, uh, an explosion that registered a 4.2 on the Richter scale. Fuck! Um, was uh, was detected, and uh, they really didn't give it any notice because they figured anything that big must be a fucking earthquake and not not anything man-made at all. So they didn't even uh, send any kind of rescue attempt because this uh, submarine, this pride of the Russian Navy <laughs> submarine, did have like an escape pod on it that could be launched, but they never were able to get the whole uh, you know floating buoy system that was supposed to bring it up to the surface. They never got that figured out. And so as a result, all 118 crew members died. And now your child can recreate the <laughs> magic of this moment using nothing but a little imagination, a bathtub, and Legos. <laughs> Legos, don't call shit unsinkable. Don't call shit unsinkable. Nice. <laughs> Fucking great. Oh, uh, well, ladies and gentlemen, that's a shitty situation. Uh, but uh, this week's laughing on the sidelines shitty situation of the week is Would you rather? Anytime somebody asks you for your name, you have to give them a fake name. Anytime. Or anytime you speak, talk, you have to attempt to use sign language as well. And you don't know sign language. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. I'm going with that one. You're going with that one? Yeah, because I could probably go to the front of the lines like at the roller coasters and... You gotta be con you gotta be convincing, man. Okay. You gotta be. I can be pretty fucking convincing. Turns out, no, you don't. Did you see Nelson Mandela's funeral? <laughs> <laughs> that is my favorite thing that's ever happened. I think that guy ever. gave the sign for smoking several times. I don't believe that's what killed Nelson Mandela. <laughs> he was not known as a cigarette smoker, anyway. Yeah, I'm going with the sign language. I I talk with my hands a lot anyway, mm -hmm. so I think that would be an easy transition to make, at least to try to attempt to speak in sign language. No, it'd be way it'd be so hard. But if I had to give a fake name to everybody who asked me, while it would be fun, maybe the first couple of times, it would get really fucking annoying when you have to go to the DA or the DMV and uh, you know get licenses and shit like that. So, have you ever tried to come up with a fake name like on the spot? It's I not would, as easy as you think. No, it's not. <laughs> Your brain will go fucking blank. You you were full of names earlier. Yeah. Now you can't think of one. I'd think I'd maybe always just use this. No, I got to use a different one. Got to use a different one. God damn it. Yeah, I'm I'm trying to speak sign language. I mean, some people got away with it, so I I, I probably could. I'm a prodigy, you know. No, yeah, I mean, uh, God yeah. knows that's true. Yeah, I mean, absolutely, yeah, it's true. For yeah, sure, one hundred percent. Yes. How about you, Mr. Jeremy Joseph? Which one are you going with? Oh, I'm going with the sign language for sure. <laughs> yeah, it's because unanimous. I can have fun with that, and I can make it so that the signs and my my hand gestures do not match 
what I'm saying right. at all. Like, oh, yeah. <laughs> right. And and that's I love the idea of that character of guy who doesn't know how to gesture. Right. <laughs> you know, oh my mom makes the best fucking cookies. <laughs> 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 I mean, you can really get into that. Oh, yeah, you really can. Oh, shit. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is this week's episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. Uh, Jeremy Joseph, thank you very much for coming back for an episode. It was very fun to have you on again. We miss you, buddy. I would say my pleasure, but it wasn't. I know. <laughs> and JP, as always, you're such a fucking stud, man. I am, man. You and thank are. you for noticing. Absolutely. <laughs> very patient from what we've understood. Yes, yes very patient. Yes. Uh, but anyways, uh, guys, thank you very much for uh, doing your thing, uh, doing what you do. You guys uh, letting people know about this podcast. We try to have as much fun as we possibly can every single week. Um, and, yeah, and try to get you involved. And JP is, trick or treat. is a... Happy Halloween! Is a trick this week. <laughs> yeah, A trick that's looking to give you a treat. Uh-huh, that's right. Oh, I love treats. I'm sure. Uh, but anyways, guys, thank you guys so very much for telling your friends about this podcast. <laughs> he just keeps doing it. <laughs> it's the fact that he did it beyond the point of funny and kept doing it. Yeah. I love it. But anyways, as we always like to say, guys, do us a favor. If you like us, tell your friends. And if you don't like us... I hope you get caught shoplifting and securities carrying frozen two-liter bottles. <laughs> <laughs> If you don't like us, tell your enemies. And until next time, guys. Barks ass bite. <laughs> until next time. Keep laughing, asshole. We will see y'all later. Take care. <laughs>